Welcome back to Lexi's Arena, presented by Underdog Fantasy. Whoa, whoa! whoa. <laughs> we back. Hold on, let me just fire this tweet off real quick. Multitasking. <laughs> Multitasking. <laughs> we back. What's up, Lexi? Hey. We got proof of life for Cannon. Uh-huh. Yeah. Guys, he got bigger. He wasn't, he wasn't turned into boots. <laughs> What's up, bud? He got bigger. I see, don't turn him up, please. And we got the whole crew here today. Yeah, this is nice. At our former show's namesake request, everybody getting a check today, yes. <laughs> Love that for God us. is good. <laughs> but this is Lexi's Arena presented by Underdog Fantasy. We have the undisputed best shooter on the couch, Lexi Brown. Yeah. Along with our show's former namesake, Gilbert Arena's here with us. Brandon Jennings back in the building, represent Tough Crowd. And when on this side of the couch, we got... <laughs> <laughs> Rashad McCann's back with, with his, uh, the age of 12 shirt. The age of 12 shirt making an appearance <laughs> in Lexi's arena. You can get it online. It's available online? It's available. The Gilbrick shirts too? Gilbrick's, okay. that man, that man's, and whatever else is sex I want to wear is going to be available. Tell the people where they can so purchase. Y'all don't give me no ammunition to put y'all on the motherfucking shirt, so we going up. You feel me? <laughs> where, where, can, where can the people purchase uh, these fine Greatness. Greatness.store. Okay. You know what I'm saying? With an eight. Yeah, with an eight, you know what I'm saying? Niggas out there, spell it right. <laughs> <laughs> we got Kenya Martin back with us on the couch. What's that? <laughs> Rashad, you were kind enough. We love those futuristic glasses that you're wearing. You were kind enough to bring the whole crew. Mm-hmm. Fresh pair. Mm-hmm. Just in case y'all want to get y'all Dragon Ball Z levels up, get okay. your Super Saiyan. <laughs> Right yeah, that is good. I got, see, I got a five year old that ain't gonna let me live. So mm-hmm. yeah. he gonna be happy. He gonna be ready. Oh, he, he ready. <laughs> We're taking these to the crib. Yeah. Uh, so Lexi, yesterday uh, on Lexi's Arena, your customary Lexi's Arena whistle was thrown across the room. Thrown across the room and destroyed. Mm-hmm. But we have a present for you. We had to upgrade. <laughs> we got a bullhorn now. So you could properly, wow. <laughs> properly help me moderate these. <laughs> Chaz, if things get a little bit too turned up, which they are bound to do I'm today. I'm not going to test work? it out because he's going to start barking. Mm-hmm. No. <laughs> we'll test it out when y'all get rowdy because it's going to happen. If it turns All y'all up. are here, so, <laughs> so here's <laughs> Here's what's cracking in Lexi's arena today. There's been an offensive explosion in recent years, but is this the peak of basketball? Devin Booker and the Suns got some revenge on Luka and the Mavs, but are the Suns for real or Fugazi? And Friday is the fourth anniversary of Kobe and Gigi's tragic passing. We reflect on the Mamba and his impact on and off the court. But before we get into all that, as always, this show is brought to you by Underdog Fantasy. Download the app. Use promo code LEXI. They will match your first deposit up to $100. That's LEXI, L-E-X-I-E. I see too many people in the chat spelling it L-E-X-I. It's so annoying. It's, it's, right, it's, it's right there. It's right there. It's Lexi's Arena, presented by Underdog Fantasy. Whoop, whoop. Mm-hmm. And we do mostly fans at the end of every show. If you drop a good question in the chat with your Underdog Fantasy username, we use that question on the show. We will give you a $50 bonus to your Underdog Fantasy account if you send us a video to mostlyfansgill at gmail.com and we use that on the show, we'll give you $100. And if you can't watch Lexi's Arena live with us on YouTube, we got audio versions available on Apple, Spotify, wherever you get your podcast from. So let's get into it. In a recent interview with Basketball News, Marcin Gortat talked about the battles he used to have with Dwight Howard in practice and one of Dwight's secret weapons. <laughs> <laughs> so, ah! Whoa! Stop! 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 Stop!
I'm merely a host. <laughs> I'm merely a host. So Gortai said, with it, man, man, man. Gortai said, quote, I was bleeding in every practice, man. <laughs> you was what? I was bleeding in every practice. Let me finish, man. My, oh, every practice, my lip, my teeth, my hands were scratched. <laughs> I still have all the scratches, everything from Dwight, my chest, everything. I mean, he never cut his nails. Jesus Christ, like I said, I was bleeding every single time. That's not cool. So the secret weapon was his nails? The nails. Huh. Okay. Damn, what are y'all talking about? <laughs> hmm. I mean, I just never, oh, why would he shit. even call that a secret weapon? It's an odd, it's an odd oh, thing to say. Mm. Scratching up well, players in front of This is cold word. <laughs> so Gortat thinks the lead needs to address the issue with players and their nails. Oh, shit, man. I'm not talking about, you know, from personal standpoint, if, if it's cute or not, over your nail, nails, your, your nails are trim or not. No, I'm not talking about that. It's about just the health. You know how many times you're cutting the skin? How many times you you shaving the skin? Because you know, obviously, you swiping for the ball, but you know, you kind of doing low, you know, low, uh, 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 trying to scratch people's hands and and you shaving people's skins off. Uh, you know how many times I get hit in the face and get cut on the on the body? Yeah, I agree. That that should be that should be that should be a rule that you gotta you gotta cut the nails. You gotta cut the nails. What was the context of? Huh? What kind of show, like, what kind of podcast was this? Like, probably was, off of, probably was off of the LeBron scratches. Yeah, so, oh, okay. so during the Lakers Blazers game this past Sunday, we saw firsthand the damage that sharp nails can cause when LeBron got scratched yeah, up by Scoot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, insane. He <laughs> <laughs> looked like he got a squabble with Wolverine. Yeah, no, your nails should never be that long. That's no that's foul call. No, that's some new stuff. The other shit was brown. That's new. Oh, that's the new one. Oh, that's that's new shit. He told me the old one used to. No, about. like when you got tattoos, like you can tell them don't use that Insta Scar shit because that's yeah. exactly what that shit is. Mm -hmm. Okay. Call okay. that shit Insta Scar. It'll, it'll ruin the tattoo. Hell yeah, mm -hmm. you be scarred up right across his tattoo. So he told him to put Vaseline on or whatever he put on to try to stop the bleeding. But mm -hmm. yeah, that's. So Lexi, this is Lexi's arena. Should the league make a rule requiring players to cut their nails? Um, I mean, yeah, but I just feel like why would you? I mean, people make fun of my nails all the time, but. These are not my actual nails. They're like acrylic nails. So yeah. They don't really scratch as much. But I think... You hoop with those? Mm -hmm. You play with those in the game? Mm-hmm. Mm. I don't think y'all should be allowed to do that. Why not? Y'all natural nails scratch more than but this. But y'all poke... Fucking swiping for the ball, hit somebody in the eye. Like, that shit... I've never scratched anybody. No, I've, play, I've actually too. played with them longer. That's crazy as hell. See, y'all yeah. shouldn't be allowed to play with mm -hmm. them. But... Like, have you scratched anybody? Anybody scratched you? Ever? I get scratched all the time, but... Natural nails, these don't scratch, they're flat. Um, I was playing ones one time with a guy and I did hit him in the eye. But See? that was when my nails were like really long. So I got them fixed the next day. But. My eyes still hurt. Shit don't make that noise when you shoot. <laughs> it's beautiful, I love it. Y'all yeah. heard it. Y'all heard it. <laughs> so Kenny, do you think the league should make a rule requiring players to cut their nails? I think it's just like, dude, if you, you know, you know your nails too damn long, man. Like, you shouldn't have yeah. to make a rule for you. Do you see dudes all the time, and when they getting taped on the training table, getting taped, yo, they got the clippers mm -hmm. all the time. Dudes are aware of. The, yeah. So if you choose not to cut your nail, that's a personal, that's some bullshit. Why you got nails in the first? Place? Yeah, absolutely. You got, yeah. What you got nails for, bro. Did y'all ever deal with that issue when y'all were hooping? No. Getting, getting scratched? Yeah, the janky oh, yeah. nail. Yeah, yeah. I got, I got a permanent, like, long ass scratch on my stomach. I forget who did it. Detroit. I told him. I, told him, <laughs> I, told him, I don't yeah. know who the fuck it was. Like Rip Hamilton? I told him, dude, <laughs> you need to go to the bench right now and cut your fucking nails, dog. <laughs> Shit but give, should the league make a rule requiring players to. Look, it's a, I mean, who's going to be sitting there? Uh, yeah, Look, check, homie. Come on, everybody. The referees. Like it's a UFC <laughs> fight. Don't do it. It's like it's a, don't it's don't like it's a fucking UFC <laughs> fight. Everybody lined up before the jump ball. Yeah, like what's going to be part of your physical? <laughs> yeah, there's a, like, no, no. but like, the, the, yeah. like Rip Hamilton He's, used to have nails, and that was the purpose. Really? That was part of his defense. Yeah. 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 He'd be like, ah! Ah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Shit. Yeah, it was part of the defense. Name you know, Wolverine. Rip. Like, I had players that just be like, <laughs> Run by me now. I'm like, oh, shit. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> I never spent Shoot a jumper. <laughs> Shoot the jail. You really? never dealt with that? No, nothing else. Yeah, I, got, not, I got scratch in the eye. Yeah, yeah. You got scratch. Yeah. The arms, yeah, hands. Yeah. So if you're watching Nicola play right now, mm -hmm. yeah. dog, it's, 
Come on, man. Red marks. It's, ridic it's ridiculous, man. Mm -hmm. Ridiculous. And he, them shit, man, it's like, you got to do that, man. It's just like, dudes, you in the locker room, boy, you got to cut your damn nails, man. You see, some dudes know they should, but they deliberately don't do it for it's that. I remember Mike Bibby league. used to cut his nails it's as nasty. like a, a habit, but it's every game. It's a league, bro. It's a or you got them, league. Or you got them dudes that sit there and be, like yeah. LeBron used to be sitting there. Mm -hmm. and, you know, the stress by Knowing you at them off. I'd be like, keep your hand out your goddamn mouth, nigga. Everybody touching that ball. You shaking everybody's hands. You rubbing your shoes yeah, and exactly. shit, you sweating and snapping niggas up and niggas in there digging in their ass and they nose and you got your... Digging in their ass and they nose. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, dude, this is the shit that's going... I used to watch Steve Nash do that Nash. shit, niggas. Lick his hands and dab everybody oh, up. I hate this. He wipe his feet. Do this shit, nigga. Listen, do Don't this. Don't touch me, Do Steve. this and, and go right him. back to it. Right back. And when he ended up sick, I was like, people wonder why he got fucking sick. Then he would do this shit with his hair, too. Yeah, just do, do oh, this shit with him. Fix his hair and then lick his fingers. fingers. And then dude, I used to cringe, dude. What the uh, fuck, Steve? What you doing? Yeah. Where the sanitizer at? That shit is so disgusting. See the sanitizer, bro. Did he just go... I don't get y'all hands and feet done? Like, oh, I do. Like, oh, okay. I nah. went two days ago. I think people should do that. Uh -uh. You're in the league. You should uh -uh. get in your hands and feet. I did. Nah, man. C consistent. You don't like huh? pedicures? I let, my, I, let the, I let the work do that. <clears throat> Yeah. I sit back, I go to the crib. I'll oh, wait in the car. <laughs> I, just I go to the massage parlor. So you don't like fatty I, I go to the massage parlor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I let Lin Lin, 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 you can go ahead and massage well, them feet. Week. Yeah, but don't be polishing shit down. Don't talk polish nothing. I don't wear every yeah, week. I'm every week and a half. Yeah, yeah, and yeah I'm, 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 okay. I'm, yeah, I'm, say, I'm yeah, diligent yeah. with mine. So, <laughs> so what's more annoying as a hooper, sharp nails or bad breath body odor? Sharp nails. You could deal with which, it. Which which one is worse? Yeah, I'm just body odor. Ooh. Yeah, Adam yeah, Morris, body odor, motherfucking stinky ass think. nigga. He did that shit on purpose too. He had to try to lock up. Yeah, he would. He, yeah, he would. He would not take a shower and <gasps> do nasty shit on purpose. But yeah, body odor Personally, is nasty. Like body that odor. doesn't Ugh. help you. No, it, uh, no, it, it kind of. The stinky dude like, does have a competitive damn, advantage. Damn, my nigga, what is that smell? smell? It's just annoying. Like, why do you smell like that? No deodorant. Like, yeah, no deodorant. Basketball was y'all playing. Oh no, you, dude! You, I wasn't close enough to nobody to. No, he, no, he's asking in general. I think he's asking. <laughs> no, 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 you got to play defense. Yeah, you got to guard no, him. No, you are the motherfucking yeah. yeah. full of shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like, you smell the shit. I don't know man. who it was. Like smelling like Yo. shit. Yeah. Oh. That shit, shit. Just, like smelling uh, like shit is crazy. Nasty. That shit though. Defense, locker room, having to no. hang out. You should I, at least shower. You should I've at least take a shower. Two times listen, a day. and my arm went up under the motherfucker full arm. Nasty. Listen, and it do. <laughs> Bro. And and I got the type like if I smell something foul, yeah, I'm gonna keep yes. smelling like yeah. no matter what don't I go do, away. Yes. don't go away. Mm -hmm. European players, mm -hmm. no shade. Nasty, but when Europe? you go to Europe, oh Europe is the worst. Mm. The stench, the worst. <laughs> worst. The whole team don't know. Know. They, they don't even know what deodorant is. And they smell like cigarettes. Yeah, because they be smoking. Mm -hmm. At halftime before the game. <laughs> my like, first, yeah, my first day over there, the vet was over there smoking a cigarette in the shower, ashing it. <laughs> <laughs> so, how you doing, BJ? <laughs> how you doing, BJ? So, Rashad, you mentioned yeah. Adam Morrison, so got a, just a little note here. Uh, Jared Dudley told uh, people back in the day that he never showered and had a three polo shirt rotation. Oh, yeah. Three polo. Nasty. Shower yeah. pills. Niggas they coming up. Like they take the shower pill. Yo, I didn't own Never see, took I, a shower. I'm not like, I ain't going to no, I got a shower. I'm not going to call it. I, yeah, I, I just two times. Three I take times. at least two, two showers a day. Yep. Get up out of there. Yeah, get, like, what did you just do? <laughs> Listen, you need some soap? No, I'm good. Like, I'm going to go no, home and shower. No, yeah, no, you're not. I seen that. I seen no, that. I'm going to go to the hell. I'm going to the crib. No, you're not because I smelt you the next day. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you did not go home. You went shower. home and laid in the bed. Yeah, and, oh, you didn't go home? Man, yeah. nasty. Nick. Oh, I had a college teammate that was, yeah, dude. Listen, boy, hey. <laughs> it's nasty. Foul. Wow. Like, so, like, hoopers out there, fine. shower and cut your nails, I think, is the, the yeah. gist of this conversation. Take care of yourself. Please. Respect your fellow players. Be like, and respect like, yourself. She's like Reggie Take Evans. Take care of your body. Mm -hmm. Reg go out there, mother. Reg's gonna work out hard as shit and go be right in the shower. Reg might take two showers before the game. <laughs> <laughs> That's just like <laughs> in the locker room. Like you shower before he get there, he gonna mm -hmm. work out, then go shower, then go work out again, and shower. I'm like, oh, that's, that's respect. Absolutely, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's. All right, let's keep this thing moving. We got some uh, sad news to report for LA Sparks fans uh, and LA Sparks players here on, on this couch. Former WNB, uh, WNBA MVP Neko Gumake has informed the Sparks that she is dipping in free agency. She spent Ooh. her entire 12 year career in LA since being the team's number one draft pick. She averaged 19 to nine last season. 
So in addition to being the franchise leader, she's also president of the WNBA Players Association and has been instrumental in making improvements for players around the league. So Lexi, what's your reaction to the news that Neko Gumake is leaving the Sparks? Um, I was really sad, but um, she actually called me yesterday while we were filming. Uh -oh. and when, she called, when I saw her name pop up, I was like, damn. Um, she finna slide. Mm -hmm. Like, I already knew. So she left me, like, a really nice voice note. It, like, I was crying outside walking to the car because NECA has just been, like, so instrumental in my growth as a player in the W the last two years. Um, but she's amazing. She's never been an unrestricted free agent before, I don't think. So, like, she just wants to test the water. She told me that she wants to eventually retire Spark. So hopefully we can get our shit together and welcome her back when okay. she's ready. That farewell tour. Um, yeah, I mean, because she deserves it. And I, I wish her the best, and I love her to death. But it's a bummer, but I'm excited about the rebuild that we can actually start now. So I'm excited. More shots for you. More <laughs> shots for Lexi. Yes. <laughs> yes. Gotta go. Oh, she got to go. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. <laughs> yes. Shut Pass that up. motherfucker. Pass it, over. Pass it over here. We get more shots. Uh, come to me now. Come to me now. <laughs> I know. Hey, I know. <laughs> we. I know they was happy when I got out of there. Ooh. Oh, man. GA, man. Damn, this is going to be sad times, man. <laughs> it's like that movie Child's Play. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When he got released from the uh, home. Yep. Everybody started cheering when he left. <laughs> hey. A great series of movies. <laughs> Shout out John Ritter. Rest in peace. But, uh, Gil, what was it like for you having to leave the Wizards after, you know, obviously having spending so much time there, really having the, the best point of your career there and not going on to somewhere else? Well, at that point in time, I was happy. I was, uh, I was at the airport. Actually, I was in Orlando before the trade even happened. I just, they said it was like 56 some percent chance, 60 percent chance. That's all you uh, needed? I, I took a pair of shoes and then I booked my own ticket. I was in Orlando during the game. Mm. At this point, y'all got to do it now. Damn. I was in the practice facility just working on shots. Did you take the MJ practice gear with you, too, or did you, you leave that at the crib? Left that at the crib. <laughs> I'm just asking, dude. Because mm -hmm. it made its way all the way to beautiful Los Angeles, stuff. So. Call storage. <laughs> Put that shit right <laughs> in storage. All right, we're talking about the Wizards a little bit. Wizards announced today that Wes Unsell Jr. is out as head coach oh. and will move to a front office role. So in his two and a half seasons as head coach, uh, he had a record of 77 and 130. The Wiz are 7 and 36 this season, which is Dang. second worst record. Failing up is crazy. In the league. Again. It's a good man. Nah, they bro. put him in that it's situation. So crazy. I mean, good for him, but. So was West done unfairly? Failing up. I don't know. Excuse me? Uh oh. <laughs> what is this? Uh, uh oh. I know everyone's been asking, why am I wearing this? Okay. <laughs> is this your coaching outfit? Huh? Is this your coaching outfit? I got my resume right here, y'all. <laughs> I got my resume. Oh. Uh-huh, y'all giving out jobs, god damn it. I'm, I'm here. Mm. Mm hmm All my accolades of coaching. Let's 12 go. games. Yeah. 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 Fuck no. That's all you need. That's all I need. All you need. Uh, Doc Goddamn. River got, hey, Doc Rivers got a job. I should be able to get it. Hey, he's giving them 40. Hold up. Hey, hire me. I'm on LinkedIn. Yeah, you pass this to your friends and shit. I'll <laughs> uh, pass this out. Uh-huh. <laughs> Uh huh. Here you go. Let me uh, take one, pass it around. Take it out. Hey, hey, I'm taking this to Milwaukee. I'm yeah, taking this one. Uh huh. Well, Garrett, if you don't mind, I'd like to read just a little bit of, of your resume. You can go ahead and just get one more, please. Just for can you. Can we those please two? start at the education? Uh huh. No, the, the, we got to start at <laughs> demonstrated exceptional skills. <laughs> so, objective to leverage my extensive experience in professional basketball, leadership skills, and commitment to the community service in the role of head basketball <laughs> coach. For the Washington Wizards, obviously, good. We know your playing experience. Three-time NBA All-Star, three-time All-NBA. Led the team in scoring and assists for multiple seasons. Played a key role in advancing the team to the NBA playoffs. Contributed to various teams showcasing versatility, leadership, and professionalism. So, uh, college experience. Played college basketball for the University of Arizona Wildcats. Demonstrated exceptional skills, earning all Pac-10 honors. And now your Big Three resume. Uh, active participant and ambassador for the Big Three Basketball League. Mm -hmm. Showcase skills and leadership in the professional three-on-three -three league. So coaching and mentor mentorship founded and operated a basketball skills academy focused on player development. <laughs> Engaged in mentorship initiatives aimed at guiding <laughs> and inspiring you. <laughs> you also have the Gilbert Arenas Foundation. You've organized uh, charity basketball events. Yes, and, and your, your education, University of Arizona, honorary PhD, 
Majoring in buckets, <laughs> 2000 to 01. Hey, ChatGPT work wonders, boy. Yeah. <laughs> ChatGPT yeah. work wonders. AI, baby, work, work good. Work good. Get your money, yeah. I tell you. Get you hired right That's now. That's the only reason uh, <laughs> Doc got a job. He had to use AI. He <laughs> couldn't use this real shit. <laughs> So yes, Washington, I'm ready. I'm dressed for the occasion. Mm. Huh? Holla at you, boy. Uh -huh. Do it. Come on. Get over the Jordan Poole needs it. I already got it. Hey, Jordan. Somebody get Jordan. Get your ass oh, out the goddamn shit. game. Get I just your motherfucking ass you. out the game. Uh-huh. Time out, God damn. I already got all of Come on, man. Sit down. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> pull, pull, pull the out, nigga. <laughs> Raph, what the tech? There we go. Let's get out. Mm -hmm. Never, mind. Go. Never, Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. That's the one, right? Hey, hey, hey. Get the nigga right. Never, Never mind. mind. You know what? Relax. <laughs> 20,000. 20,000. Never mind. I'm not going to get fired today. <laughs> not today. You I also made a job. Get in the back. I just got your hey. job. <laughs> Gil, you got a LinkedIn page as well. Uh, everybody go follow Gil's LinkedIn. Let's, let's start the campaign early. No photo. You need a photo, Gil. No, huh? no photo. You need a photo. They need to identify you, bro. Yeah, they need to get, identify you. A headshot in this outfit. Let's get that so job, fire. baby. Yeah, no, I know. You got to take some pictures of Mr. Sudo, man. Podcaster, point guard, point guard, point guard. <laughs> Did you get the socks? I got, yeah, baby. Oh, the good, good socks. Uh, let's go. Yeah. Put on my good socks. Put on my good socks. <laughs> For everybody else on the couch, uh, Gil would make a good head coach of the Wizards. Facts or cap? Mm. <laughs> Facts. Facts. Facts for sure. Facts. Seven thirty-six. Yeah. You can. You can oh, at least play game. Yeah. Facts. Uh, well, shit. I need to go ahead and uh. Stop the. Cap. See this for real. For I real. Mean, I'm just like Facts. I just. Why not? You can only go up. Chauncey can do it. Yo, are you ready? Are you ready to abandon this thing over there? Hey, Lexi yeah. Arena. Hey, I'll be watching y'all. Look, so I'll be watching y'all. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll be watching. I'll, I'll zoom in, in for y'all. All right. Should the Wizards at least give you a ten day? Hell yeah. Ten days to be here. Oh, yeah. yeah. Or interview. Give yeah. him an interview. Yeah. Yeah. Take the interview. Little interview now, baby. I want to move back to DC. DC yeah. was fun. Yeah. Cold. Let's go. It's cold there. Yeah. They got, good, they got some good work. Good work out there. Oh, that's some good, 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 good people. Good people. <laughs> good food, good people. Like good people. How would you handle the work? Go see museums. It's government work out there, right? Good work. <laughs> <laughs> get some good doors. Get some good doors out there, boy. They got good passes. <laughs> I, I need that, that G13 classified work right now. Gil, you know, besides yourself, you can you think of anybody else who would be a good fit as head coach for the Wizards and who would want to take over this job with this, this team currently the way that it is? Listen, you know, or they can just give me a consulting job. Mm. <laughs> I can pull a doc. And dirty Mac your way to yeah, the Hell yeah, just be like, hey, yeah, you know, the coach you have, we need a new one. <laughs> we need a new coach. And it should be me. I'm your guy. I'm your guy. I'm it your should guy. be me. I'm that, that'll solve all our problems. So you saying Doc was dirty Megan? The consultant. I'm just asking. What's your problem? What's the problem, Doc? I don't think the players respect that coach. What, you need a play? veteran coaching, the championship coaching, the coach who's been there before. Who you have in mind? Yeah, old Glenn. <laughs> <laughs> old Glenn. I know a guy. I know, I know a guy. guy. I know a guy. I, know I, know a, guy. I, know I get guy. you in contact with him. <laughs> <laughs> so he just, <laughs> this nigga just tap into his other self. <laughs> <laughs> let me get, let me let me call him real I mean, quick. Someone like, Mark, someone like Mark Jackson, you know, uh, should get a second, you know, second yeah. chance at coaching. Sam Cassell. We talked about uh, Sam Cassell yesterday. But now he's an assistant, so I don't know if they he's can. Been, it's, he's been there just like Ty Lue, sat next to Doc for all them years, and then finally got the call. Mm -hmm. Yo, yeah. Milwaukee gave Doc forty million. What? Forty. Forty. Forty for what? Three years? To twenty to twenty twenty seven. Three years? Yeah, that sounds about right. Right. They gave Doc 40 mil? Yeah, 40 million. 13, eight. Ooh. They said that they're paying all three of the coaches still. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're still paying all three Which coaches. Which is insane. Mm -hmm. but Gil, how, what would, what would be your, your entry level salary with the Wizards? If, if Doc getting 40. I, I said I would. Three year, one, three year, three million. I'm great. Oh, shit. Three year, three million? Three year, three million. Mm -hmm. That's how you get them. That's how you get them. That's how you get them. You, you low ball real low. Get us to the playoffs. Bam! That's when you hit him over the head. Need a hundred. <laughs> <laughs> That's when you hit him over the head. You got to get your feet in there first. 
You know, my resume is, you know, AAU basketball right now. You know what I mean? <laughs> I got a couple championships under my belt, you know? Hey, unlike Doc, I done won all my championships. Damn. Mm -hmm. as, as a coach. As a coach. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. I hear you. <laughs> my strategies and everything. So, mm, they work. It's, it's, on, it's not on that level, but it's on the level. It's on, on A level. <laughs> it's on A level. A level. You know, A U 16. Gotta somewhere. <laughs> we got to talk a little bit more about the Bucks, but we will do that with some hibachi time. <laughs> We needed a Lexi about you time comparable. So I was, I was sending she them. She don't have no words. I was wondering why Doc was sounding so uh, eager to get the fuck off the, <laughs> the, the, the panel. He was, he was sounding like, I'm ready to get the fuck off, off here talking <laughs> to basketball with y'all niggas. <laughs> Give me so, a coaching job. Cavs pulled up to Milwaukee uh, with the league leading eight game win streak, and the Bucks were playing their first game since Adrian Griffin was dismissed as head coach. So after a video of the Bucks dancing pregame made its way around social media, <laughs> some insinuated it was a team dancing on Griffin's head coaching grave. So uh, the Bucks do a dance before every game, uh, but according to our sources, this one was particularly enthusiastic. Uh, that was so crazy. <laughs> and while key players liked Adrian Griffin, they liked the change of direction a little bit more. That's just according to our sources. Uh, you can read between the lines. But Giannis came through uh, with his second triple-double this week. He dropped 35 Points, 18 rebounds, 10 dimes. Dame dropped 28 as well in the win. We got some highlights to show you. Team looked invigorated. Chris Milton had 24, didn't yeah. he? With, with Joe Prunty making his interim head coaching debut yet again. But team looked good. So Giannis uh, is just the third player all time to drop two consecutive. 30, 15, and 10 triple doubles. Now he's got 21. Joining Will and Oscar Robertson. A premium in be crazy. So should the Bucks be back as the favorite out the East? Brandon, you're a resident Bucks fan. I'll start with you. Uh, depends on what we do uh, as far as the trade. We still need defenders. Um, so, but we'll see. We will. Are see. you excited? Yeah. Uh, but, I mean, we have a coach that's won a championship, so I got faith in Doc. I'm, I'm rolling, so let's see what happens. You had a coach that won a championship. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Mike Budhoser. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> What's there? What the fuck is going on here? Are we, am, I, do, am I tripping? You had a coach that won, and you got rid of that nigga for a nigga that didn't win. What the fuck is wrong with this nigga over here, man? I'm, what are you talking make, about, man? I mean, I don't make the decisions. I don't work for Shit, Milwaukee. man. <laughs> this nigga's tripping over I don't, there. I don't work for Milwaukee. I just collab. Just collab. <laughs> so, Bucks are now paying three head coaches still. They still got to pay Budenholzer the rest of his deal. Paying Adrian Griffin the rest of his deal, paying Doc Rivers the, the three year somewhere in the $40 million range. Yeah, was it smart of them to commit to Doc for three years with this squad? Hell no. I don't know. <sighs> I mean, are they really question? committing? I don't think they I mean, they, they've been Just, committed to two other coaches. They, obviously, that's a good question. Obviously, really there's some, some non-committing motherfuckers over there. Like, <laughs> they just writing checks. They should be signing these coaches for one year. Do you know, Doc, save themselves you, some money. You know, Doc has a coach of the year award on a record that was 41 and 41, right. which is the lowest percentage in NBA history. Wow! Okay, but what for team was coach that? for a coach Orlando. of the year award? Orlando, they was 41 and 41. They was 41 and 41. He has a coach that. of the year off of that. Which is a record because it's, it's the, the last one. Damn. Bottom. Because they look. The putting the contest, what was the record the year before? 37 and 13. So they were about four more games? No, <laughs> no, no, no. 37 and 13, it was a lockout. Oh, lockout. Oh, lockout, yeah. yeah. 30, oh, oh, shit. <laughs> 30, it was like 33. It was either 30, 33, 33 17 or 37 and 13. Like, it was, it was, it was uh, 33 and 17 or 37 and 13. We have the I'm technology. Telling you, it was 33 and 17. Was that old, 2011? The lockout, it was the lockout. 33 and 17, uh, they lost in the first round to 76ers. Chuck Daly. Chuck Daly. Oh, head coach. Nine, Doc, Doc Rivers. Playoff team. Doc Rivers came in next year, 41 41, coach of the year. Hmm. <laughs> he holding on to these awards and championships. <laughs> but y'all forget. 99 2000. Y'all forget. 2000, right? Same year as Cash Money. Y'all forget. Uh, cash. <laughs> before Doc made that, they made that trade in Boston for KG and them, they had the worst record. They did. In, in, in NBA. Like 18 straight losses. I know. Paul went on vacation. 
<laughs> they made that trade. Them. They made that trade, and all that they think they told us the whole story about like Doc is t man, that motherfucker trash, man. He just let Paul do whatever. He didn't give a fuck. He was just drawing up bullshit. He didn't give. I was like, God damn. They was happy to come to Minnesota. I said, y'all, something wrong with y'all. For real, y'all happy to be here with us. <laughs> so, so what the fuck is wrong with y'all, nigga? Despite whatever on this couch, good. You got personal beef with Doc Rivers? What happened? He was an Eastern Conference coach, and um, there he, it is. he he voted that year. He voted Paul Pierce into the um, All Star. It was that that bullshit that was going with the um, Detroit Pistons. Yeah, right. And it was uh, rewarding winning, and I averaged twenty nine. My team was fifth, and they somehow didn't vote me in the All Star game. <sighs> So fuck all the East Coast coaches. So it, yeah. some beef is forever. No, I just was, I wanted to identify. It. Now now I understand. And I sent and I sent this goofy ass a a a, a, a fruit basket. Did just he, cause? Did he take you fruit? for the fruit basket? What kind of fruits were we talking about? I didn't give a fuck at that point. I mean, just okay. get your ass fruit basket. Edible you know, arrangement. Watermelon. I know who, I knew, you gave I know who watermelon. Watermelon. I know who voted, watermelon. Who voted for me and who didn't. God damn it. Mm. Did he Did he ever thank you for the fruit basket? No, I didn't talk about. Did you put your name on it? Yeah, that's that boy. Huh? I put my name you? For sure, that boy. You had experiences like and, that And before? Paul Pierce made it, and their team was last fucking place. Yep, high. yep. Mm. Oh, they put Sharif Abdul-Rahim on the All-Star team. The year I was supposed to, because the All-Star game was in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. They was fucking last. We was number one team, second team in the conference, and we only had one representative. Mm. Damn. I was fucking livid. <laughs> Understandable. Mm. Uh, All-Star game is... Yeah. I get it. Don't they come out tonight? The all starters, all star starters. starters, starting five comes out, but mm. we, we know who those are. Oh yeah, we did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, what is it like? The the only problem I'm having is we see who the fans voted for. What are you gonna do different? Right, like if the fans voted for them and this is the five, and you're saying fans get fifty percent, you get fifty percent. How are you gonna alter this list now? Mm. That is that is a good question. We, we will find out. And who's a part of the alternate? They really use fifty percent fan voting. That's just, this is new. You, but you think they actually use that? If no, first it was one. Things. Yeah, no, first it was one hundred percent fan vote. So yeah. we see who's leading. Yeah. and those were the starters. Yeah. Now they have a new rule where fifty percent is only the fan voting, and then the other fifty is something else. So the poll that they're showing now is that still all, all fans? Yeah, that's yeah, all. So fans. after they calculate that, then they gonna incorporate then the other some, fifty percent. Uh, yeah, some behind the scenes shit. Oh shit! <laughs> some cheating shit. Oh shit! And that's why we do but not they, get credentials. Uh, it's about to get nasty. The media. When do the, in the when do they get to vote? Like they've already voted, or is it like no, the they reserves? see? So the reserves is by the coaches, and that's the list that gets weird too because um, it's it's like we all so we all voting, right? We all get votes. At first, it was best seven. So if the best seven was all guards, they're just gonna take the two or three guards that they need, and then they're gonna take some some uh, front court players and then the center. And the center might not have no votes. Or have one vote, right. and he's taking over a guard spot who might have all the eight votes, votes yeah. or all the votes. That's why you guys see some some people in there that's like, no, oh, you have it's twelve and four. How did you make it? Mm. Oh, his team is number one, so reward and winning. Mm. The fuck does I got to do with the All Star list? So they're altering everything behind the scenes that you're like, this doesn't even make no so sense. So that other fifty percent is media, the media pick. Cause you said that media the reserves coaches, is the yeah. coach. I think it's some, yeah, it's like media. 50, 25, 25, if I'm not mistaken, but. Mm. Yeah, media, media 25 and the players 25? Let me double check. So Kendrick, Kendrick, Perk, and all them niggas get the pick. They get their vote. Cause I mean, Perk said he spoke. voted last year. For All Star? He voted MVP last year. They vote MVP. Or, or is it oh, MVP? they got an MVP, MVP vote. Yeah, that's MVP. So I don't think it's media get the All Star vote. Nah. Nah, it's somebody. It ain't the coaches, cause coaches get reserved. They better not get reserved. I, I thought the players, I, th I thought the captains. So, so oh, fan voting will account for 50% of the tally when it comes to starters. Current NBA players in a media panel will can, uh, account for 25% each. So current NBA players. But you know players are haters, so they're never going. That's interesting. Bro. And you know nasty. media are haters. That's nasty. Because that's nasty. That's nasty. That's that's this bias going to be biased. It's going to be biased as hell. So it's 50% fan vote, 50% hater vote. And that's how we're getting. <laughs> this current player aren't, aren't, you know, they're not. They're going to they're gonna rock for who they roll with. Mm -hmm. Same with the media. I mean, the starters are usually the starters. So it's right? not going to be really based the on reserves that be, yeah, like you said, production. the reserves are where it gets uh -huh. kind of. It ain't going to be based like on the, production. The point of fan efficiency. voting is popular. Yeah, who they favor. Popular. Yeah. Right? I'm, I'm coming to see this person. 
right? This is who I want in. So it don't matter what they're averaging or if they're off the bench or whatever, that's who the fans want in. Like when Kobe got put into the All-Star game, he was coming off the bench, right? He wasn't playing. He was a fan favorite. So when he came into the game, all the fans erupted. Yep. That's exactly what fan voting is for. Yeah. That's who they want in the All-Star game. You can't change that. Because whoever you change it for is against the fans, so mm -hmm. obviously they're going to be irritated about it. And then mm -hmm. they ain't going to vote no more. They ain't going to vote no more. Yep. Like, yep. That they vote don't matter. But <laughs> even back in the day, though, but back in the day, I remember at the arenas, they had the little fill-in you could pencil yeah. in. Yeah. It seemed like you could rig, rig the system a lot better back then, right? If you were in a heavy market, just take all the ballots, put your guy in, drop it in. It wasn't a white that shit. How did they calculate? I mean, I'm, the, yeah. I mean, a lot of people did that, too. Motherfuckers had parties doing that. Do, do you know somebody who did that, perhaps, Gil? Toronto. Okay. <laughs> they used to have signing parties. We're going to throw a party, everybody in here signing and having fun. Damn. Yeah. Sound like a sweatshop to me, but. It's called, hey. <laughs> Sound like a sweatshop. <laughs> Fill out these Shit, hey, hey. As long as I get an all-star game, I'll get fucked. What the process? Right, 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 right. Y'all yeah, better vote, motherfucker. Get these <laughs> free drinks, free so, drinks. So, Gil, obviously you've been very outspoken about uh, your disbelief in Doc Rivers' coaching ability, but Doc Rivers did win a championship with the 2008 Celtics. Do we feel like this bus roster has a comparable level of talent to that 2008 no, this, Celtics this, squad? This, this roster's... This, this roster's not equipped to beat that... that Boston Celtics roster I'm just saying, that this, year. but we talk, we talk about Doc having a supremely talented team. He can get the chip. Do we feel like this Yeah, that's a supremely talented team. Even in Boston when they won the championship, they lost all their road games the first two rounds. Like, you know how they said game sevens is his, he's the worst coach in game sevens? Two of the wins he do have on that resume is from an eight seed that, that took him to game seven. And then the second round. The Hawks, then the Cavs, and the next round. took him to the game seven. So... You know, uh, AC taking you to Game Seven is a fucking problem in the first place, right? Yeah. You know yep. that should have been an easy sweep for a 66 and 16 team, yep. and in the second round, that motherfucker took you to Game Seven. But what are you doing? <laughs> conference Finals beat the Pistons 4-2. Yeah. Beat the Lakers in the Finals 4-2. Just pointing that out, Gil. Yeah. I know this is Lakers <laughs> I mean, Arena. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. But <laughs> those are good teams. We're talking about the the teams that gave you the run for your money. AC. Have we heard? You know, so on your resume, when it says game sevens, you have to add an eighth seed as a win for him. So, you're looking at your resume, <laughs> currently undefeated in Whoa. game seven. Never lost in game Never seven. Never lost. Never lost in game seven. <laughs> no <Coach>. pressure. <laughs> <laughs> have, we, have we ever heard uh, any of the players that played for him complain about him as a coach? Um, All of them. <laughs> All of them. We, Publicly. All of them. We, we have heard some players refer, uh, refer to him as Glenn. Uh, and refuse to call him Doc, uh, that's you know. Very just that, <laughs> that's very disrespectful. I mean, I heard, I heard him like, win. you know, KG and them, they talk good about him, but I When he was on the show with him. Right. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, Doc, you was, you God, was, good, you was real good, good you, you let us do what we wanted to do. I'm like, ah, you, you, Ron, Say that again. You, did, you let, let us, us do what we wanted to do. Mm -hmm. Okay, there we go. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. you, from you a good coach. <laughs> you let us do what I'm saying. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. you don't hear a lot like of people praising them or backing them. That was like a backhanded compliment. Like, oh, yeah, we you let us You let us gamble and bring the holes and did everything we wanted to do, boy. We didn't want to work out and nothing. Oh, that's a true story. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> True story. So I'm, I'm with Orlando, and we playing, we playing Boston, <coughs> right? So um, our coach, Jeff, Jeff likes the uh, second practice, okay. right, of a shoot-around. So he likes the second uh, practice so he can go as long as he wants because, you know, if you get the first one, you have to get off the court. So he liked the second one. So we got there, and I'm looking through the screen, Right, I'm looking through the screen to see um, Boston's like how they how they preparing. Mm -hmm. Shaq big ass is on the scores table, just sitting there laughing. Right, he just laying he's laying across the scores table. Right, you got Rondo throwing half court shots behind his back. Right, you got KG and them. I don't know if they were shooting dice or playing cards or the guy. And I'm sitting here like, this is their shoot around. And I'm like, hey y'all. <laughs> they ain't taking us serious for shit at all, right? They don't give a shit who. Like it was the it was so bizarre because I never seen like this type of talent in a shoot around. You're playing Orlando, like we we not an AFC. We actually a good team, and they sitting out there looking like it was playground basketball.
Like, they was just throwing out. They wasn't going no plays, no nothing. And I'm sitting here like, mm. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, you have it. Glenn, mm-hmm. we will see uh, how the Bucks perform. Doc Rivers getting the three-year deal in the $40 million range. That shit crazy. We're not going to talk about why, why, why Adrian was fired, though? Nobody knows. No, all we know. Rashad, what, what do you think are the circumstances that took place? Oh, it's definitely a player riff. It's a player riff. Something happened well, you saw in the Donald locker room. Said he was caught off guard. I, I ain't had nothing Me, to do with it. Yeah, you yeah, caught off guard after you get him fired. Like, oh, I didn't know y'all was going to do this quick. <laughs> I didn't mean to bar. I said I wanted him gone, but I, I didn't mean right immediately. I, I was thinking all-star break, I'm gone. I don't got to deal with <laughs> I wasn't this. here. I was in, <laughs> I'll say this. We had to I, see, way. I see Adrian, he's a defensive player, right? So defensive-minded type of coach. Similar to K. K not going to have no bullshit effort. No bullshit rotations. No, the shit that you need as a team that can win championships is to anchor on the defensive side first. When you got offensive players who got offensive firepower that can lead you past certain elements of the game. But when there's accountability and you got somebody who's going to come at you with that accountability and everyone on the team just starts to, oh, it's too much. Like, oh, we can't take every time out. This motherfucker come to the time out like, the fuck is going on? What the fuck is we doing now? Like everybody's like, then why you gotta talk to us like this? I felt like that was the energy, accountability. And if he's gonna give you the type of accountability y'all can't handle, you are gonna bring Doc in. It's a perfect guy. It's a perfect guy to just let you rock. Hey, hey, hey! Y'all don't want to play defense? It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Just score. Just score the ball. But the defense thing is fool's gold. Uh, it's not, not when you led, thing. not when you was at five, and then you're now at 22. But when we had Drew, but your off- I ain't asked for you. But your offense was at 22, now we had, at five. We had Drew, I ain't asked for you. I, I ain't asked for who? Listen, <coughs> who I had Drew, we ain't asked but, for you. But that's but what I'm who? saying is... Who ain't asked for him? No, what I'm saying is your defense is five last year, right? Championship. No, championship didn't win last no year. Cali- championship caliber defense. You haven't won that last twenty two, right? Mm-hmm. So, so, what is your offense last year versus your offense this year, right? You have to take in account of the whole thing, yeah. Right. So, you scored one sixteen, they scored one thirteen, right? So you're three point favorite over there. Now they're scoring one nineteen, but you're scoring one twenty five. Right, so the metrics they're using is false because this is a two-point better team than it was actually last year. Well, we, so you're just looking at the defensive end, not looking at the offensive end. Um, so if the offense was 25 and it's two now, it says the team is actually better this year than it was last year. But that's only coming from the stats. No, it's we real. talking about from the actual eye test. The eye test, the eye test, test is going to be like, hey, look, fuck the offensive stats. And we look at the defensive stats and you say, let's move all that shit out. How do we look playing defense? How do we look on our rotations? How do we look running back on defense? Why is there no accountability on our urgency? We got to play the game and not cheat the game. So if we just going to come down and think we're going to outscore everybody, that's not the way we've been playing. That's not why I signed up for this job. We're 30 and 13. So, I'm just so you know that you know, you know if he stayed the whole year playing the way he was playing, he was going to be... Uh, Coach of the year? Mm-hmm. So crazy. So why did he get fired? Because the players didn't like him. Exactly. Accountability. I want you guys to play defense. We're 22 in the, in the league. Who didn't want? Who, somebody, okay, so what, who what didn't want? What was the offense ranked last year versus this year? Because that is the reason they made the trade. Because they want more offense. Yeah, they because more, they couldn't score. They couldn't score no. the ball. They couldn't score in the playoffs. That wasn't it. You yeah, said, it y'all told me, Giannis, Giannis, y'all told me it was because Giannis got hurt. No, Drew. Okay, Giannis, so if that no. was the case, that means that they would have did what Giannis they were supposed hurt. to do no, no. based hurt. on that. Giannis Drew, no, no, yeah. that's Drew. it, right? That's my opinion. Yeah, yeah, me no. too. That's, me Drew too. Drew averaged 1.9 on ISOs for the whole playoffs. He's not an ISO player. That's exactly. So when Giannis went down, who's going to score for us? And we want to Chris get the ball Middleton to should step up. So That's what we have a guy who's supposed Chris Middleton was 1. 1. 1.9. 1.9. 1.9 couldn't stop. 1.9 and you couldn't stop Jimmy. So, so Gil, you want the offense rating this year versus last year? Yeah. So Bucks offense rating, they're second in the league right now. 120.6 offensive rating this year. Last year, they were first in the league. Offensive rating, 
114 last year? It couldn't have been 114 again. Stat man, stat man. You hear the stats? Number one. 22, 23. That's number one and number five. They, 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 they were more they, powerful last year. Oh, they weren't number one. They weren't number one. They weren't number one. Number three? They weren't number one. My bad. Of course they were. <laughs> they were. They were 15th. Uh, I know. <laughs> I know my, I know my I stat man, stat man. I just the grip. 15th last year, second this year. <laughs> Net rating last year was 3.4. Net rating this year. Hold on. Man, who didn't want who? Huh? Who didn't want who? <clears throat> That's what I want to know. Who didn't want who? You got to go ask the questions. You, you work so they're a better team off. this year. Yeah, you know, net rating last year 3.4, net rating this year 4.0. So. so they're a better team this year overall. Yeah. I know. <laughs> so why did they get rid of him? I mean. Because the, the players didn't like him. The, your, your main player didn't like him. That's exactly I'm told why. the key The players, main player? The key players. The key players. Key players liked him as a human being. Didn't like his coaching. But didn't feel like. But we're number two. What? Didn't feel like. And they felt they, they could be number one. They, 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 they like, hired dude when they won the championship. Like, yeah. And this is the like, crazy what? part. I don't. So if, uh, they could have had conversations with him and wasn't willing to change the way he coached or stuff like that. But did they give him an opportunity? Like. Yeah, to adapt. To adapt, to change to what they need. <laughs> they win. They second best record overall in the league. They've been like this the last two years, though. Mm -hmm. yeah, he got, he he got, got he got fired because of Monday, man. He just got there. Let's no, just face it. I know, but I'm saying that record ain't the same. He just got he got he got fired because of Monday game. What was it? Was it a blowout? No, it was the same thing that happened in Cat. And B was out there getting buckets, and Giannis was looking up like, "Oh shit, let's get them buckets." And then Giannis sub out. He's like, "Oh hell no, nah, not right now." <laughs> no, no, I got Detroit Pistons. I'm about to get a hundred two, and that's where the beef beef mm. That quick? Mm. I'm lying. I just made that shit. Nah, <laughs> I'm about to say, wait. I'm, <laughs> like, wait, wait, I'm like, wait, hold on. I'm like, wait, 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 wait. It just made more sense. Yeah, that's it. It just made more sense because he was like, he didn't want to get subbed out. And I'm like, shit, if if it beat up there scoring nah, scene, that, that, I don't want to be subbed out. That clip was old. That, man, that's funny, bro. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> man, I was going to say, damn. We asked, I'm lying. <laughs> we asked the chat smart to commit to Doc Rivers for three years. 82% said no. Eighteen percent say yes, but yeah, good. They, I mean, they got to get a ring in these three. <laughs> did they commit to Adrian? I don't even know if one is good enough. I, mean, I don't even know if one. Didn't he paid. sign a multi-year deal? And he's getting some multi-year bread. Yeah. At the well, I don't even know if one well. ring is what, good enough. What I'm saying is, why am I giving him three? Why am I giving him three years? Right. I, mean, I give you this year. We'll see what you do this year. And we'll re you up. After or we'll do this year and next year. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Is this this year and next year? So whatever happens this year, you probably just say, oh, yeah, you know, I didn't have the team from training camp and I didn't mm -hmm. get to put my plays. You got an excuse. Yeah, yeah, we give you an excuse for this year. And then now next year is all you and we're going to see what you're going to do. So, Gil, Doc Rivers calls you up, says, Gil, come be my assistant. <laughs> Gil, come on, man. Come on, Let's Gil. Talk. Let's look, go. Look, 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 assistant. <laughs> assistant Gil. Let's go. What we running? What we running? What you want, Doc? What we running? Hey, your turn to get in. <laughs> I suggest you don't play, but go on in. He go on you. in. Go on the fuck in. <laughs> go on the fuck in. Go on the fuck in, huh? Go on the fuck in. Hey, Gil, we, we have updated your LinkedIn profile. Uh, we have updated the LinkedIn profile. If anybody, <laughs> anybody else is looking. <laughs> Agent 12. Agent 12. Shots made. Shots made. 12. 12 shots made in the first ever Gil shootout presented by Oh, shit. Y'all think I'm going to turn that down because it's Doc? Hell no. They got me in there. Lying with him. You're doing a good job. Keep up the good work. Keep up the good work. You're doing a good job. Ready back. Well, let's talk about Devin Booker. Uh, D. Booker and the Suns got some revenge on Luka and the Mavs on Wednesday. Booker dropped 46 of them things, including 30 in the second half. Going 6 for 10 from behind the arc. Such a pure jumper. Let's just be real. Booker. Falling. Buckets. You know, the Suns have gotten embarrassed in recent years, so Durant it was good for them to get some get back. D book. Looking quite unstoppable. This is just a, a great offensive player. Splitting you got all the space on these jumpers. Booker's still in the game now. This game still in. Oh, now we got to pass him down. Up a 20 piece. Suns have now won seven straight games. Tied with the Pelicans for fifth in the West. Is there a better player in the league than D-Book when hot? Hmm? 
Oh when Buck God. is hot, is there a better player in the league than him? Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm when hot. Yeah, when hot, yeah. I mean, when hot, everybody motherfucking dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> say, yeah. Shit, I mean. Yeah. That goddamn Wardell, listen. That, that Wardell, that, Wardell, that other light skinned boy over there. Him, yeah. him <laughs> zero and motherfucking Milwaukee. Yeah. Let that bitch get it going. Listen, yeah. good luck. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> the one he on hit the one on his team. Yeah. Yeah. He gonna shoot that he motherfucker when he cross half court. So good fucking yeah. luck. We just seen it. We just seen him beat hot. <laughs> He's up there. So what's it like when you're when you're high like that in the zone like that, just getting buckets? Is it just give me the rock and get out the way? Basically. Or is that like that all the time with you? Basically. No, not all the time. No, when, when you're talking about 82 games, man, you're talking about what maybe three, maybe three games a year? Mm -hmm. Maybe three games a year, you feel like really invincible out of 82. I mean, and then you had there's gonna be three games where you're gonna be horrible as shit, no matter. What happens, right? So you got about three games, it just it's all green lights. Yeah. You know what I mean? When you're on the road, everything is green, everything is woo, no matter what you do. It's like when you on fire and something happened and you get hit and you just throw it half court and yeah, motherfucker go in. It's one yeah. of those days, yeah. You, you, got about three, you got about three a season. Do you know that going into the game or is at some point in the game it just clicks and, and that thing is falling and it's like, I'm gonna keep it going? <laughs> It's a feel. It's a feel. You, you, you know, just waking up, you be like, damn. <laughs> like New York. You have a good, yeah. Like the Garden, yeah. like New York, the Knicks. Like, okay. it's, it's just a feel. You know, you, you feel the energy. Like, you just know what time it is. is there, so is it based, Arena Bay, like if I'm going to a Staples, I'm going to the Garden, I'm going somewhere where I know the energy is going to be hype, or is it like, damn, I might get this in OKC one night just because. You ever, you like ever woke up and then, like, your jumping ability felt like, <laughs> like, Damn, I got like a couple extra in me. <laughs> like, whoo, like, I know I got a 44, but this motherfucker feel like a 48 today. Yeah. You ever feel like? <laughs> feel good. Yeah, today. right. You feel like, whoa. I'm feeling good out there. Yeah. I'm about to, good today. Yeah, bouncy. I'm about to tell I'm feeling bouncy today. The yeah, <laughs> yeah, bouncy. Light. Definitely yeah. has like, some in there. Light, light mm -hmm. today. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's, that's how it is with the chipper. Like, yeah. That shit feel. Damn. Yeah. Something bothers mm -hmm. me though with the defense that's been played out there though. I watched that whole game last night and the drop. In the pick and roll, on the snake pick and roll, it's crazy to me how far the bigs back off and allow Dev to get to his spot every single time. And it's like, at what point are you going to make him do something else? Like, it gets it, it to the point where it gets to so comfortable, everyone's doing the same shit, going to the same spot, because the bigs are doing the same fucking defense. And it's weird to me, because you're not making them do nothing else. Like Grant Williams, if Luca's coming off and Grant Williams is going to be the one guy going to shoot this bitch every time and he ain't making shit, we're going to make him shoot that bitch every single time. We're not mm -hmm. going to change up our defense. Mm -hmm. But then you got uh, a Kobe. Really not hitting that bitch like that. But y'all not pushing up on Book to make him pass to a Kobe. He taking that shit because the big is dropped off. Like, what is y'all doing? And why the coach is not adjusting? Jason Kidd, you know you've been in this league long enough to know. Tell your bigs to get up in the pick and roll, even if he's splitting that bitch. <laughs> they ain't got no bigs. Yeah. Lively. <laughs> he the only motherfucker out there. It's like, yo, what are we doing? This shit weird. And then he got he, 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 literally 12 in a row. Boom, boom, I, I, boom, I, I, boom, I boom. I used boom. to have that argument. I used to have that argument with Steve Nash, right? Um, the pick and roll with Steve Nash, it was go over it go over and sag. I was like, why don't we just fucking hard show this dude, get the ball out of his hand? Because it was like, because the rest of the players is good too. It was like, the rest of the players is good too. We hard showed, he throw it there, dump it down to Omari, who's guarding him? I don't give a fuck. That ain't my guy. Yeah, right, <laughs> right, right. right. You know I mean? right. Figure it out on the back side, oh, figure it out. We're trying something different. Yes, yeah. that part. Well, there's just but, like no real ro different than rotations me. happening. Like. Hard show, obviously, if there's a hard show, there's going to be some type of movement in the back, but everyone yeah. is so hugged up to their person. They're yes, they're, trying, they now, they're, they're scared to rotate. So like, they're trying to figure out how to stay out of rotations now. We'll come mm -hmm. right out of that timeout. We'll be in that huddle. He'll say one thing. We'll come up right at that timeout. I'll be like, hey, yo, come here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Man, fuck that. Man, we're going to, listen, I'm going to jump out there. We gonna, the motherfucker come off the screen. I'm going to jump him. Y'all get ready to rotate. I'll yeah. take the first man back. Yes. I mean, Pre-rotate everything. Right? As soon as out of the time, now he's causing that. Man, fuck what he talking about, man. man. We ain't going to do that. We pre-rotating that shit. This motherfucker out here cooking us running this shit. Fuck. No. But I heard what you said. Because you can't switch point, right? it. You can't. 
But how hard is it with that Suns big three out there? So Book got 46. But there's still non-shooters out there, though. Yeah, that's, still, that's what I'm saying. There's still non-shooters. You, still, it, Nurkic and Kobe are out there. And, or, or you leaving Grayson Allen. We are you leaving Grayson Allen? I'm not leaving You're Grayson not leaving Allen. Yeah, so but my thing in this Wait, go back to that right? clip. Let's see who's no. actually out there. No, but my thing or is, Eric right, Gordon. guys, I, so I watch guys' footwork offensive, right? And guys, like, they work on their offensive game and all that shit, right? Bigs. Mm-hmm. You can't tell me that your footwork is that good offensively, and it's right? Non-existent. And you can't get your ass up on the pick and roll and move your Come feet. Come on, my nigga. That's all, that's all I'm... That's Man, like, Joel. No, like, 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 you great at mother... As soon as you get that mother, uh, you got every move every in your <laughs> repertoire. Uh. You motherfucking Chris Brown and Michael Jackson. <laughs> all that, that nigga. <laughs> but defensively, your shit in the cement. Man, like, come on now. Now, I don't that like don't work for me. <laughs> no, me either. Like that, you can't move that well and be running that fast when the when that ball involved, <laughs> and all of a sudden defensively, like, nah, I, I can't get up on the stream, <laughs> boy. Luca too. Like, Luca no. too. Luca yeah. part yeah, of that, that shit that too. Is, that's that's the whole thing for me with it. Like I watched Alpine Sangoon right mm -hmm. last few years. He great offensive. His fucking footwork is amazing. Mm -hmm. Pick and roll, sagging down. Man, he lazy as fuck. Back on that pick and roll, and motherfucking Ant Man put his ass in that basket. Mm -hmm. I'm like, you see what you went the next trip? That motherfucker, that screen came. That nigga was right at man. level of yeah. that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> you good? Level of that motherfucker. Uh, yeah. I'm like, yeah, that's yeah. Getting your ass put in that rim will teach you. <laughs> it will for you sure. Had your ass up on that screen. But that's I mean, the accountability we talking about. Yeah, let's see what it looks like. But yeah, let, let's show those highlights again. But uh, like, look how what? far back he is. There's no wait, reason wait, wait, to be wait, back there. Wait, 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 go, 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 go back. That was go back. a good. He ain't good. even rolling. Look, Nurk is no. not even rolling. As, but as a defender, get back in front, nigga. But my yeah, thing, that, that, that too. Like, get that back too. In front. Shit. Yo, but look, look where he at. Watch this. Look at Nurk. Look at everybody else. The ball going. Uh, see, what, see, you can't leave. He going back. He going back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Luca can't help. Keep going back. Keep going back. Keep going back. Because you know what's got to happen? Yeah, so like, if look, he rolls, is, look, 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 Nurk going to have to have 95 fucking points. No, what, what, what I'm saying is, what you going to do right here? <laughs> look, no, look, look, Lively oh. is. Look where Lively is. Oh. He okay. is back. Too okay, so far. you, okay, Touch now put him. Touch put him. Up. If you brought him up, Touch uh -huh. him. now you got uh, Touch him. Uh, yeah. Tim Hardaway Jr. Uh -huh. We're yeah. bringing him in to show the body. Show the who? Show and get back to Grayson. He's showing and get back. Fuck that. Wait, wait, so. It's elbows and boxes. Grayson, you ain't even got to put a Grayson out in there. I mean, them Tim Luka, Hardaway, you, ain't even got got, put, you ain't even got to put Luka Tim got, Hardaway. Listen, leave both of them motherfuckers where they are. Right? Just have them up. Because they got two shooters. Right. Right? On that side. They yeah. got two shooters on this side and whoever's on this on the other side. Fine. Shooter. Let, that's the, Kevin Durant. That's fine. Let Kevin Durant, let all three of them motherfuckers be exactly where they are right now, right? Why? Is this man setting the screen and this defender ain't got his motherfucking hand on? Yeah, his hip. he up on the ball. He got to be up he got on the ball. Hand on his hip, into the ball. He fuck wingspan now, Madden basketball. They they want you to be long arms, long all this shit, right? If he got his hand on his hip, mm -hmm. I ain't saying he got to be hugging him, touching the screener. Yep. Devin Booker seeing a whole different look coming off the screen. Absolutely. Everybody else is where they are, and Nurk is gonna have to score a thousand points. Yes. Huh, he's slow as fuck. Yes. Okay, but who's gonna, okay. The man that show get back, he's, he's yes. slow. Yes, it's slow and get back. It's a it's slow a, roll. Nurkic ain't rolling, the. he ain't fast rolling that shit out. It's not Amari, he not Amari in it. So, he gore so it. So when do you, so as long as I still have the ball, what are you gonna do if you're Nurkic? I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving until you pass yes, it. Yes, this is what they do in the double when they so double it outside. Hold it here, you I'm not. We staying here. It's a shot clock. You got you. 13 seconds. Look, when you cross half, it's 14. You gonna have to throw it to Nurkic no matter what. Yeah, you remember how I used to play pick and roll, right? Yeah, but but you, that, that's not you. But I'm just saying. So that, if I'm teaching him, do, we want him to throw but, it to so Nurkic. We want him to throw, it, want so, him to throw so, it to Nurkic. So I'm gonna, gonna wait. Right to, there. I'm gonna wait till Nurkic gets behind lively. Then I'm gonna make the pass. So you can't get back anyway. But we if we have the double, if our double is strong enough and like he said if he's into the ball enough he not just gonna be doing some bullshit I'm playing defense on him I'm affecting the ball and then what he doing is he's reaching for the ball too he not just letting you Ooh. dribble I, we dribble I, 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 once I pass the ball on the bridge Rotate. Yeah, no, rotate. No, 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 you can't no, no, rotate. No, no, no. no, no. Let Nurk. You, you know Bill and let Nurk. I'm saying Nurk is gonna have to become Wilt Chamberlain tonight. Oh. And I'm saying fake. And I'm saying fake and Especially get back. He he like I'm that, not though. saying he full like rotate. That. I'm if, saying we're faking and getting back to going, the shooters. If he got it going, the way Book had it going, right? Mm -hmm. He's not gonna continue to score. No. No way. Nurk is gonna like I said, he's gonna have to become Wilt Chamberlain tonight, dog. He giving us 20 and 20. I mean, he can't score, though. So he could, but he got to prove it tonight. what I'm going to do. 
You gotta prove Go it tonight. Ahead. Let's see it. Let's see it, motherfucker. Y'all not gonna give up points like that. that we not gonna, gonna, gonna let Booker get open, 46. We are not gonna let Booker get 46. But it's wide open I mean, well, layups. There's so they're not KD, wide open. KD oh, gonna get because we still got a four there's, other guys. So no three other guys on the back side, bro. There's no rhythm to layups, y'all know. You have Ke- do you know Red Light? There's Kevin Durant here, so you can't have. He said Kevin's in the strong corner. I mean, on the weak side, deep corner. He's saying rotate. And then you can't rotate. He's saying that. I said get. I'm saying show and get back. I'm not saying full rotate. You're not getting back. You're not getting back. Yes, because they, the they showed it. I watched the whole game. They did it. Because they did the short rotation and got back to the shooters and they missed and they got to stop. They did that multiple times. They showed it. That's why I was like, why are y'all not continue doing the same shit? Maybe you give up a three to Bill occasionally. Maybe you give up a three to Grayson Alley occasionally. But you're not giving that shit up every single time where you're like, hey, we can't do this timeout. Let's change it up. That's not what's happening. Y'all are giving up. Devin Booker giving 12 straight buckets in a pick and roll with no help. No show. And that boy too athletic. Yeah. Lively, he, he's too athletic. But if you're not stopping the he's ball, too like, athletic. Look, I'm going to keep you behind me. See, Lively going to keep getting back. The ball, what I'm not going to let you so get back stop. in front of me. Can I say this? Let me say this. When are you okay. going to stop me? This is what I'm saying. If Lively's up. Look at Bill right now. Let me right. say this. Let me look at Bill right now. Can I say this? Look, look. If Lively's up. Luca got to take Nurkic, right? No, no, look. Bill's open, right? Now, Tim Hardaway is this guy who's going to rotate to Bill. Now, Luca's where does Green go? Green's going to go to where Tim Hardaway was. Uh, it's called a scramble. Who's We're stopping s- the ball? What do you mean? Once he passes it to Bill. If watch, Booker passes it to switch, Bill because Luca's helping. He's oh, going to okay. pass it to Bill. We're rotating to Bill. Okay. And then we're rotating to whoever um, is oh, on him. Boom, boom, boom. It's, but okay, it's okay, scramble okay. defense. Okay, so who's getting Booker when Booker get the ball back up top? The big? That's what I'm saying. One on one then. Okay, bet. Bucket. We're on the scramble. We're on the scramble. They're putting you in scramble. That's the reason that they're putting you in scramble the whole time. But they don't have time. Look how small. Look how small. Look how far. Luca is because he has to help, right? I pass that to Bill, right? He's gonna quick pass it. That's a shot. But look, if we Bill's a shot too. But look, if we're here, yes. it's a tougher pass. It's a tougher pass because we're affecting him while we're in this double. We're affecting that pass. It's a slower pass, or it has to be a jump pass. Whatever the case, that's a regular, the next that's man. A regular, regular that's pass. a regular ass pass. No, it's no. Look, not if he's up. Who's up? Not if not if Lively's up. It's, it's not a regular pass. If Lively's up, it's a lob. Uh, no, because Luca's there. It's a lob over Luca. Luca's Luka. there. No, 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 it's, a, no, it's a crackdown. They're into it's the, called crackdown. They're into the move to play right now. Before the shit gets started, right? He sees Nurkic going up. He's at the level of the screen, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. He's not going to be able to get in front Devin of Devin Booker now. sees that. Mm-hmm. His natural reaction at the level of the screen, he's going to either try to beat him going wide, mm-hmm. right? Or he's going to back it up. Yes. He got a chance to square him back up, like y'all said. He should have got back in front of him if he can. There you right? go. There's not enough pride and effort in every play. But if he's up on the screen initially, it's a whole different look defensively. That's all I'm saying. And all the rotations and all that shit that y'all, it don't matter at the end of the day. Because if he's up on the screen, it stops all of that and shit. It just gives it a different it gives either. a different look. Just sometimes. He still could get around like life is all I'm saying, but it gives it a different look to keep you out of rotation. Here's my point. Luca was trying to do the same other, shit. Because Grayson Allen yeah, is shooting the shit out the ball is. now. But, so yeah. you don't have a weak league out there at times. But if Okogi is out there, then you make the ball find him. That's one thing. But in this situation, if he's up on the screen, he's too athletic yeah. and a lively body, no pun intended. I mean, just making it. If, if, I mean, if, if how many if turnovers did Luca have? If you're, how many turnovers If you're Nurkish right now uh-huh. and lively gets his body off of you, what is Jason Kidd doing? To the moon, Fredo. What? If this is Kenyon, King is Nurkish right now and lively takes his his left elbow off of his at that body point, at this and point, tries yes. to come up. At this point, he's too late. Yeah. He's too late at this point. He's way too late. But what I'm saying is, in the game, Luka had the same opportunities that Booker had, but he was getting turnovers he's because slow. they was so rotating. Slow. They was rotating and to the predictable. The he don't have the shooter. But, he, but there's already beat Yo, from the jump from he's the guy from who's, the jump. who's guarding uh, yeah. Devin. No if, and, and listen, if, if, he, if, can whip, he can whip them. Once he get by, by the top of the key, 
Devin Booker, if he wanted to, he can whip that motherfucker right over there to the goddamn Bradley Beal. Right, right now. Right there. Because cause one more cause drill, Luca's on the box. One more drill, Luca's on the box. Left hand pass Boom. through that motherfucker. Right it's a no, wide it, open three. And because there's no lively is up. It can't do None that. None of those yeah. things happen. None of those things happen. That's yeah. all I'm saying. But I still have what it. What I'm saying? Yeah, I still have That's the only pass you got. No, I don't. And Tim Hardaway's there. No, I don't. Tim's there for that pocket pass. That's not the only pass I have. If lively's up and my man is rolling, all I do is just do what we used to do to Miami, right? He's going to Hard show or be up, hit him. I'm gonna pass it straight. He's gonna catch the roll. Pass it to who? Who are you passing it to? Nurkic? Yeah. I'm gonna pass it to you, and you're gonna pass oh, it to Oh, where am Nurkic. I? Where you're, am I? You're where Kevin Durant is right now. I'm on this side. Oh, yes. the quick. To get so you're talking about the hockey so assist pass. It's gonna the be boom, a boom. Yeah, that's gonna, the only pass. I'm gonna, it's gonna be a pick. But it's something I'm different. different. It's throw it. Different. Throw it to Bill. It's getting the, the ball out of is, Booker's hands. Exactly. So that's, that's what we're doing. Do every time. I'm not gonna do it every time. And that's I know, but he's changing it up. That's what he's saying. We're not. We're gonna make you change it up. And this is so. And that's why defense. It's pride. No, it's that. But you have to be proactive. Yes. Instead of reactive. Yes. And that's why I think. You need to be up on the fucking pick and roll. Every time. Give him a di- Not every time. You give him a different look. But this motherfucker got it going. I'm going to be up does. on the pick and roll. Like, it's just what it is. It's, it's if like he's it's in the pick and report. roll right it's here. It's scouting report. Nurkic is in it. He got it going this way. I'm going to be up on the pick and roll. I just believe in making guys do shit. I, I'm just not in the excuses and telling all where the guy, well, we well, well, can't do it. So we're going to play it this way. Like, no. I don't buy that, man. We paying you a king's ransom, motherfucker. You gonna yeah. goddamn try? See, I think I think Bill was I think Bill and what's his name was busting their ass too. They was. They <laughs> was. They was. Bill and twenty. Katie only had twelve. Grayson. No, I'm the, yeah, Bill it's and not. Grayson Allen was yeah, fucking them up too. It's, it's, it's know your personnel. At this point, it's know it's your personnel. So you be scared. Of, you be scared to get off your. Yeah. yeah. Human nature is. Yeah. If I help and you shot that. Man, my next time help it ain't gonna be that little close. But what we next? Perfect example. Everybody, everybody it's worried about shell defense. Yeah. We playing shell. We guarding the ball. The ball there. I, listen, man, he coming off that bitch. We own the ball until he swing that bitch. And when he swing, what do we do? It's called close the fuck out. Hard close out. Not a slow close out. Not a uh uh uh. No, run, run that nigga off the line. Yeah, run him off the line. Well, these three dudes, you can't run off. You can't because they gonna shoot it. The teams but no, they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna one. No, they gonna one dribble pull. Your, they, they, they all got the same shit, yeah, right? Yeah, that's, so, but that's what we're these giving up. Is different. We're not gonna give up the three. We're giving up a close out too. We're giving up a hard two that they can hit that they work on, but we're gonna give that up rather than giving up easy jump Yo. shots at the free throw line for Devin Booker. Hell nah. Everybody gonna motherfucking turn on goddamn Scott Van Pelt at tonight. Be like, <laughs> Sports Center D. God damn, Nurk has had a night. <laughs> <laughs> had one of them nights. Uh, I'm just, that's just the way I do. Yeah. He gonna be get tired of scoring like damn. I'm hoping again. <laughs> yes. Damn. What a defense. Damn. <laughs> they let me. They damn, let me rock tonight. Again. Yeah. Like yeah. no, dude. You gonna hey just no proactive man playing defense. And that's why I'm y'all motherfuckers are scores, mm-hmm. right? And I think the other way. <laughs> Let's keep this thing moving. So Luca dropped 34, 8, 9 in the loss. I think he was the only math starter to score double figures, uh, but he made news. For having a Suns fan ejected from the game in the second <laughs> half. We got the video to show you. <laughs> hey, look at the look back. The look back is sick. So, he was insulted. Hey, the look back. He was insulted. So, according to ESPN's Tim McMahon, the fan reportedly yelled, Luca, you're tired. Get your ass on the treadmill. Fed up. <laughs> Good. Get out. It was booted. After the game, Luca took issue with the report and broke down why he had the fan booted from the game. I know I saw you when you said about the fan, you know. That was not a true all. That was not the only thing he said. Um, but I knew you would be the first one to, to point out something like that. Because I'm not going to say what he said, but I knew you were going to be the first one to put out something like that. So I just saw it, man. It's just funny. You always seem to be the first one to put some bad stuff about me. Yeah. First of all, 99% of the stuff I've written about you has been good. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. I was sitting two rows behind us. First of all. All right, so it was the only thing he was, that time he said something, the only thing? That was what you reacted to. Yeah. Thank you. I was hearing the whole first half. Yeah, get his ass. Oh, you didn't hear anything? He was definitely hollering. Okay, there we go. Exactly. Okay, you there we go. something that was just the only thing, but. What was okay, the final what, 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 what was the what final was the issue? What was the thing that. It's not the issue, I'm just. Seeing you seems to be the first one to always put something bad about me. Nah, Luca. Yeah, that's fine. It's all over. 
That's Why did you ask for the fan to be ejected? Did because he was cursing me the whole first half, too. You're cursing me. Why didn't you ask for to be ejected in the first half, then? Mm. Because I never would eject a fan. They pay for tickets, but I had enough, you know. It's a little bit of frustration. So, uh, good for you, Luca. Cap. Good, good answer. Huh? Cap. Good he cat answer. answer. He cat answer. answer. So, Cat Williams once said, you should let a hater do their job. Uh, yeah. And with that in mind, what's your reaction to Luca getting a fan ejected? And our player in this area, a little too sensitive no. to the fans. A uh, little too sensitive overall, not just the fans, but... <laughs> Go, yeah, no. Nah, so that's what you react. So that's the, what you react. So the dude, so the dude, like I like his response. Like, no, I heard everything that he said, mm -hmm. but I the thing that got your attention, it seems that's what that's what you reacted to. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I could have said everything else that he said, but the thing that you reacted to was what I said that he said to you. Mm -hmm. So I. Also, the rep if the reporter heard him, then why can't he be like, did he say these things? He knows they were yeah, very he he disrespectful did. and crazy. He said he heard him. But that's why he asked Luca, well, what did he say? And Luca's like, well, I'm not going to say, so you tell me because I know you heard him. Yeah, he heard him, but he said the ridiculous. thing that he reacted to was the treadmill. The treadmill. You got him. <laughs> Everybody can say that without, like, people can be like, that's stupid. But probably all the other things that fan was saying mm. were egregious. Yeah, like, yeah, why did yeah, the yeah, well, look, fans, 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 yo, he was, why fans pay right tickets. To fans pay tickets to say crazy shit. He was cursing at him. You can't say that. But look, he if you crazy. didn't say nothing in the first half, right? Yeah. You didn't say nothing until he said you talk because this is what they said on the broadcast. Luca looks tired. Now this is the broadcasters that's on that's calling the game. Luca looks kind of tired. He he's not getting tired. back on defense. He or he's not rotating and he's turning the ball over. Sure, yes. You look like you out of shape. Karen Get your big ass on back. the treadmill, bro. He probably is tired. You're not exempt for just being a good player and getting triple doubles and shit, that's bro. Funny. Like get your that's big ass. It's like funny. shit. That, that's funny. that's fucking funny. hilarious. Luca, you mad because I told tired. you to get on the treadmill, Luca, bro? Luca, you're yes. tired. Get your ass on the treadmill. Gil, if somebody said, Gil, you look tired, get your ass on the treadmill, are you having that fan ejected? First of all, I don't hear you. How loud I, is this fan? Come on, Gil. I don't, I don't hear you. Talk I'm about it, Gil. As I said, have you noticed every time a fan gets kicked out, Whoever gets get them kicked out, they're getting their ass kicked. They're getting their ass kicked. They, I've never seen someone got 56 and be like, yeah, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> no, it's always you, you getting your ass whooped, so that means you hear everything. 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 And it hurts your feelings, but this is a... I, listen, if you played in Boston... Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> and we all played in Boston. <laughs> we played in Boston. <laughs> we all played your in Boston. Your skin was other than Caucasian, right? Ooh. You've been called every name but your own, mm -hmm. right? No one's kicked them out. No one gives a shit. Mm. Now you're going there, you're like, the, the garden, come on. Right? Ruthless. Like, no, just play fucking basketball, man. I'm pretty sure that what, what they write about is worse than what a fan is saying. But well, he at home, too. Yeah, yeah that's so. So his home crowd is hearing. Yeah. They hearing. If he was in Luca looked tired. Don't y'all see Luca look tired? Hey, y'all, Luca look Looking tired. He look like yeah. his ass need to be on the treadmill. Yeah, motherfucker pay for these seats. Like, I guarantee you, if fans start asking for uh, reimbursements, because <laughs> you ain't gonna be, you ain't gonna no, kick me out of the game. There's a fan code of conduct that you agree on when you buy those tickets. What is? Oh, for sure. For sure. I can't call Because you can get the, you can get the warning. Oh, but they give you a warning. Let like, your ass I on mean, the treadmill. They, yeah. they, like, they give you a ticket and say it's a warning. Like, don't. Don't. Yep. Don't continue don't to asshole. heckle. Yeah, heckle it. Give me don't one. be a heckler. But Gil, they give you a warning. Gil, to your point, if Luca has 50 and the Mavs are up 30 right now and he hears that shit, he just laughs. He over the fucking with him. He laughs. Yeah, he over there fucking with him. Yeah, and all that. Yeah. Luca got to kick someone out when he hooping. Yep. And that's not going to happen. never going to happen. Or he, now, whatever you're saying, I'm whooping your ass because of it. Yeah. Or he this is it. your fault. Yeah, this is your fault. It's your fault, your ass, your team getting his ass whooping right I'm now. Right. Or he go I'm do what Joel Embiid did and I mean, start sure running sprints and shit comments. after the fucking practice <laughs> yeah, and after the game. And you see Joel Embiid oh, look God. a lot more in shape. He's lasting a lot longer than he ever did. Like, Luca. Take some notes, Mo. You not exempt from this criticism, bro. Yeah. You not exempt, bro. Especially when you down like you down. Like, I'm sorry. Like, when I buy my oh, tickets funny. to be a fan to root for my team, like, like, you see what jersey I have on. But root for your team. Yeah, I have. I, you see what jersey I have. That my job is to fuck with you. Yes. And obviously, I'm doing a great job because we winning. Right. We winning. Fuck you, fat boy. Fuck <laughs> you. If I know it's getting under you, fuck you, fat boy. Hey. Fuck you. <laughs> 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 when, you come to, when you come to Phoenix Suns, 
The whole crowd gonna be saying, fuck you, fat boy. Sizzla, we're going to Sizzla. We're gonna have you, we're gonna have your face. 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 We're gonna are you not supporting Lex? Applebee's! We're going to Applebee's out of this, Lex. Why are you heckling Lex. Me my own game? We're not going. Gonna, listen, he's you're not going to support the, the, the arena's crowd. name, like, sir? He's a home crowd heckler. Applebee's! 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 You don't have to travel to do that. We're going to do it here. Applebee's! So you're going to get me kicked out for saying Applebee's? Yes. See? That's, that's fucked get up. Get him kicked out of the suite. We got chefs at Applebee's. What is it? You go to Applebee's? Yes. She gave me a gift card. I'm an honorary member now. What's wrong with Applebee's? That's Brandon? A, yeah, let them play in the playoff series. He's yeah, a, he's a no boo playoff. nigga. He's a no boo nigga, that's why. So, I mean, but so, <laughs> he's a no boo nigga. Well, like, he ain't no Apple nigga. He's a, like he's a no boo nigga. He's like justified in doing it, but I think the rest of you guys on the couch, like, you don't ever want to give somebody that ammunition to Bro, know. Game, Damn, if you say this. Bro, the ball is that way, and he looking at this dude. For sure. <laughs> he, he done. Because he I told him to get his ass. His reaction for him telling him to get his ass on the, your fat ass on the treadmill. Who like his reaction to it. Did you see the look on his face? Like, like, no, because in order for that person to get that exact moment on film, he must have been saying some wild shit. I, I, I think they got to. they got him booted, but I don't think they heard this. Tim McMahon's ESPN reporter. Because I'm like, what are the odds you get that? Yeah. But he about the media. Okay. He, heard, he yeah. about the press roll. He about the writers though. Uh, so. Yeah, so Tim so McMahon was like two way two worse. But it don't yeah. matter. Yeah. It don't matter. Whatever I'm saying has you flustered. You the play is going on, and you looking at me. Yes. You pissed. I won. I won. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I mean, I kick me out. I, mean, I, feel like, anyway. I feel like every player has the right to get a fan removed if it's bothering them. And like, guess I what the Phoenix Suns like... going to do? So how many fans are you going to get removed if we all saying the same shit? Applebee's yeah. chance? You can't, huh? do it. you can't do it at home. Because huh? like, you what? remember in college, you go to Cameron Indoor Stadium, you was a dookie. Mm -hmm. yeah, people huh? crazy. They go people crazy, crazy right? in that yeah. crowd. We can't get the whole student section to get the fuck out of there. So what's the craziest thing somebody said to you during a, a UNC Duke game in Cameron? <laughs> man, I can't have, even remember, they man. Print out, they it? print out cheat sheets. Oh, yeah, they used to do that back in the day. Well, they yeah. said some shit to my sister. Like, we know that's Rashad under there. It's a weird, <laughs> it's a weird. <laughs> that's Rashad under there. We know that's Rashad, Rashonda. <laughs> hey, Rashad, come on out. I said, Shonda, you better not react to them motherfuckers. <laughs> oh. Fuck oh, them. Hey, no. hey, she whooped their ass too. Fuck it. Yeah, we wore the same shot, number. Look at that for shot under there. A lot more vicious cheat <laughs> sheets, but they yeah. used to create fake Facebook, MySpace profile. Oh, my brother's catfish players. With right now. Uh, stripper. Crazy. Stripper. My girlfriend was a stripper. That's what they said. My girlfriend's a stripper giving out lap dances after the game. Damn. Yeah. Was, was, it, was it factual, Gil? Or... Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> I, I live. How they know? I live, <laughs> I live that truth for real. Shit, oh oh how God. did they know? Oh, that college. Shit. How they Ooh. get that information? College, college is way, way more, worse. Way, way worse. Yo, yeah. Maryland was different. Yo, so we got in trouble using fucking calling cards and shit in school. Okay. Oh, the motherfuckers showed up with phones and <laughs> all phone booth shit, all yeah. kind of shit. Oh, uh, Danny and them got in trouble for punching the horse and all right, them niggas showed up police uniform, horse heads and shit like that. Yeah, yeah, and they're like, oh, that's they're just mean. Brutal. Just mean. <laughs> that's awesome. No, kids are mean. Jail suits and shit. Kids yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, hey, dude. Fucking Rube got in trouble. He taking somebody's purse. They threw a purse on the string, got on the court. Rube, you forgot oh, your shit. purse. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Hey, yo, this is like, what I said, like, fucking uh, brutal in yeah. college. Like, how can you, like, that's a fan. That's what they're paid to do, <laughs> yes. tackle. That's the point. Can you say somebody punched a horse? Yeah, Art Long po and Danny Fortson, while the, the how, police horse. Was, how, okay. While the cop was on the horse. Damn, Man, punched a horse is crazy. No, so <laughs> like a real horse? That sounds like the so, plot. No, so big. therefore, you assaulted a police oh, officer. Absolutely. Oh, you know people don't play by animals. It's a police horse. Like half yeah. baked. Yeah. Like half baked when you <laughs> fed, <laughs> fed <laughs> the <laughs> door, <laughs> fed <laughs> horse all that piece of shit. And animals? Listen, they, oh, yo, that motherfucker. Hey, motherfuck, girl, you hungry? Took both of their ass in jail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Police and animals? Fucking police horse. Police animal? Like, you dealing with that? Let's say they send a dog at you. Niggas punch the horse. Pop, pop, pop. Yeah. Murder. The, the yeah. visual of somebody Police punching office. a horse. Absolutely. Right, and the fact, the fact that Luca complaining about it, it's the weight thing. Because 
the nigga Sean May was fat our last year, and they used to have McDonald's signs. And That's so sad. They used to bring That's double cheeseburgers. It's like, mm-hmm. and you, you can so smell mean. the double cheese. I used to eat double cheese. You can smell the double cheese, and it's funny. It's fat. funny as hey, hell. If you give yeah. people ammunition to use, they gonna fucking use it. Hey, oh, yeah. Right. And it's funny to us if you really a hoop, you like, oh, they right, came out today. I'm shutting y'all niggas down tonight. No, she got 50 next game. Didn't someone else ask a fan to leave this year already, too? We've seen, Russ. Yeah, we've seen not this, year. Dr- Russ. <coughs> this year. Not, yeah. not this year? Not this year? LeBron has had fans LeBron booted, I think, people, Atlanta with the, with the court Russ did. situation. Russ did. LeBron I didn't feel it before. Huh? What, I did in Philly what, before. What drove you to have No, the dude, he was, he was too close proximity to the bench. Mm. Oh. Like, he was sitting right, and I... Hey man, so it's either he go or you know what the, the next step is. But, see, but yeah, you did that out of okay, so out of respect. Of of, yeah, 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 yeah. Me because he was right here. Mm-hmm. I know he one, was just going. I know one thing. You're not gonna get a fan kicked out in my di- my I, my arena. I, I, <laughs> you ain't gonna be a visitor, <laughs> and then you think you're just gonna be kicking out my fan. Right. 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 But you have the audacity. Hey, hey, hey! Remove him. <laughs> Who? Uh. Uh, officer, who you work for? <laughs> okay, because if my fan leave, you fired too. Mm-hmm. You better get a job for them, God damn it. You know what? I'm going to move your seat across from the bench. Here you go. Yeah, <laughs> give you another seat. <laughs> give another seat. That's, 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 that's the solution. That's the solution. That's the solution. Yeah. That's the solution. Yeah. That's what they probably give him another seat. The dude had great seats. The dude had great seats. But I'm higher. But he was just sitting a little bit too... He was in choking. They're going to love the owner. Like, I'd be mean, like, he's man, choking this. Y'all don't hear me have, like a, have like a timeout. Yo, I've attended a basketball like, game with numerous refs ready to throw you out. But then they all can band together and be oh, yeah, loud And then be loud in the, in the timeout. <laughs> say, we in timeout. Fuck y'all. All the Ref, time. Yeah, the refs try to kick me out. Yeah, you one more thing, and I'm going to kick you out. Bitch, this is ten dollars oh to get in Lord. here. Oh all right? God. I already got my wristband, too, so I'm going to leave. And I'm going to come back in and just sit on this side. Damn, Damn. motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> at a Christian school in the arena, uh, we got to watch this school. At a, we got to watch this school. What the fuck is wrong with y'all, man? $10 I was, here. I was one of them, I'm looking around like, I got a man. bunch of those in my pocket. <laughs> but Gil ain't wrong. Right, right. That was a charge. He's not wrong. It was a charge. Let's, let's keep it moving. <laughs> so we talked about Team USA announcing the player pool for the 2024 Olympics, but there were a few names left off the list, including two-time Olympic gold medalist Draymond Green, Grant Hill had this to say about the decision to not invite Green, saying, quote, we all understand and certainly have great respect and sensitivity to this particular period in his career, and he's working through some things both on and off the court. We at USA Basketball, we want to support him on his journey. We just didn't feel that playing over the summer gives him the best opportunity to do what he needs to do. So what are your thoughts on Draymond not we making the We at USA list? Basketball, so, that, so Grant Hill is part of USA Basketball? Grant Hill is, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, just tell the truth, man. Just say we're going to Paris. This motherfucker choked out a uh, countryman. Mm-hmm. And we don't want that type of uh, pressure when we get out there. Mm-hmm. We, don't want that type of pr- we don't want that type of pressure. We're going in. Mm-hmm. And Rudy over here with his whole nation, like, come on. Come on over here, you say. Just say you don't want that type of pressure, man. So do we think it's because the Olympics are in Paris and a oh, Frenchman was sure. choked? So if Gobert was, let's say, German... Yeah. Norwegian, it wouldn't have made a bigger difference. Hey, they saying they, I mean, they, they go birds from that French side of Compton over in uh... <laughs> <laughs> that French hey, side hey. of Compton. Hey. That French side of Compton hey. is fucking hilarious. Bro. <laughs> Lupin, <laughs> Lupin, Lupin. 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 They got Lupin. 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 Oh, yeah. hey. You be watching the TV show? Y'all watch Taken? Y'all watch Taken? You from, taken? You from that French part of Compton? Yeah. 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 Motherfucker, Paris motherfuckers don't play over yeah. there. Now. Draymond, come over here. You want to? Your motherfucking ass over here. I'm not gonna front. Yeah, no, they got. Yeah, they be robbing. We're Brittany grinding hey, your ass over here, mm-hmm. right, Mom. We yeah. keep it over here. <laughs> mm. Oh Lord. <laughs> oh Lord. <laughs> but y'all think? I mean, Draymond two gold medals. He still should have got opportunity. He could have been an instrumental just, part just of this go. team. Park it. <laughs> Stop, Park y'all. it. Park it. Sacre blue. No. Uh, we don't need no more motherfuckers thinking they gonna make this team. Park no. it. Yes. We park. got our twelve, right? We just the other y'all. Just look. This is part of y'all resume. Just like I tried out for the USA experience and just add it to your goddamn resume. Add it to your resume, LinkedIn but y'all ain't bio, making this goddamn Make an update their LinkedIn bio. Just, just update it, man. Y'all got shit. Work on your game this summer. Work on your game this summer. Work on yourself this summer. So Gilda. Just come out here for the week. We're going to be in Vegas. We're going to be at the win. Have your nice little two weeks, and then you get the fuck on, get ready for the rest of your season. So let me ask you this. So per our conversation yesterday, mm-hmm. USA committee. Mm-hmm. Used actions. And what did I say? Past actions. That it actually what, what did I say? Conversation. So, so 
what I'm saying, my point I was making yesterday, right? Mm -hmm. They had the conversation within USA Basketball, the committee, mm -hmm. right? That's the point I was making yesterday about Kyrie. Yep. And then I said that about him yesterday. Okay. Yeah, you know, you, no, you said, no, you said, said that. It would make sense. Yeah, if it was Draymond. If absolutely. it was Draymond but, Green. And but I'm talking about the, the conversation. But, but the conversation is what I'm saying. It's being had. It's Grant being Hill's had. Hill's oh, bringing no, it up. They had, He's so the point that I'm yeah. making is any controversy, mm -hmm. anything, past, present, whatever, his was more recent. Mm -hmm. But Kyrie thing is part of the conversation, what the point I'm making. So they're having these conversations. Mm -hmm. So for them to come out and say that they had the conversation. Mm -hmm. But anybody got anything controversial going on for USA basketball, do we want this? Yeah. And Kyrie's point on the I list, was making right? yesterday. He's on the list, though. Mm -hmm. He's on the list, absolutely. But so they're having a the conversation about it is what the point I was making yesterday. Because yeah. so it, it, it ain't a lot of guys that they're having conversations so, about. So thank you, Grant Hill. So but well, thank you, Grant Hill, because I'm yeah. But do y'all feel like <laughs> no, the same thing? Said, like, yeah. No, you did say it about it. Makes, yeah. It makes sense with going to Paris and he done choked yeah. somebody in Paris. That makes more sense. Yeah. 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 But don't we need that? I'm just saying, we go nah. out there, let, we, we, let the Parisians know. Uh, uh, I can't have a US. Great buckets in fashion. I can't have a USA guy get his ass whipped in them streets. <laughs> I don't know how many French men he could be choking family on the Family going there. over there. Like, it's just, that's all bad. Keep, man. keep his ass in his late hotel and late nah, gym. Yeah. That ain't no way like to go to enjoy the Olympics, man. Olympics okay. Okay. You can't go enjoy it. He be the only one. Not family just can't go only. nowhere. Like, that ain't like, no that's way. That's not a thing in the Olympics, like but fighting. Do we feel like Gobert has that love out there? They're like, yeah, we would have choked the nigga. You know who work in Paris? James Bond and them. <laughs> We're not having that shit. Oh. Get my six in them? Not oh, my shit. God. And my six is definitely British. He watched too much saying. movies, right? He, 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 I, it's international. We call it Interpool. It's called inter, Interpool. Interpool. <laughs> Interpool. French in them, British in them, English in them. It's a train. It's a train. It's, I said them, them. It's them. It's them. That means Jesus James Bond and them. Evelyn mess. Salt and them. Evelyn Salt. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Well, let's it's go ahead. Russian. I know. Them. I said them. It's them. This is a whole group of them motherfuckers. They're like rush hours. Let, let's talk about it another Frenchman. Yeah. <laughs> so, we got Tom Cruise and them. So, the dream team is dead. It's dead. <laughs> The so top two rookies in the league squared off for, uh, again on Wednesday. But the Spurs were no match for the Thunder. But things got spicy between Wimby and Chet during the fourth quarter. The rookie and the red shirt rookie. Holmgren so the Chet hit a three in Wimby's grill. That match Wimby came finish. back down. Mm. Hey. Yeah, little, yeah. little boy. Ooh. The no jump yam on with the stare down. <laughs> no jump. Lay dunk. <laughs> Ensuing Thunder possession. Who? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, Wimby. Yeah. Let's go. Down 30, let's go. Did you say full body weight? <laughs> put it full. <laughs> all 160, all, all, all 175 pounds of that seven foot two motherfucker. So Thunder won the war. Wimby that won the battle. He hurt right now. He's still hurt right yeah. now. Yeah, you know, like when you're a kid, you know, like you a kid and you playing somebody hit you and you try to get him back. Hey, yeah, yeah. Chet, your ass ain't about to be on that USA TV. Mm -mm. <laughs> Fuck with that Frenchman nigga. We leave him off too. We're going to let him figure it out this summer. You know, he went at Wimby. But uh, uh, Wimby finished with 24 points, 12 rebounds, 4 blocks. Chet has 17, 9, 4 assists, 3 blocks. Got to show some love quickly to SGA, who had 32, 10 dives, and 6 rebounds in the win. Mm. But let's get back to the young fellas. Are Wimby and Chet embracing this rivalry? Yeah. 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 I mean, oh, every time they played been. since, what, since uh, preseason, it's, they, it's been entertaining, not even going to lie. Yeah. I don't good. think Wimby fuck with them like I, that. It feels like they don't. Mm. It's like good. they both. Nah, it's, I wouldn't fuck with that nigga. Yeah. Nigga, you ain't no rookie. Nigga, that's my trophy. <laughs> get, this ain't your fucking class. <laughs> you rest your rookie. Real shit. This ain't your class, <laughs> motherfucker. Real shit. Yeah. You I in my way, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hands down, yeah. motherfucker. Like, now I got it. That, that's a really, that's a competition out this bitch because yeah. you, you your wanna, team winning. Yeah, you ain't want to take care of your shit. Six figures out there just get worn. Yeah, your fucking team winning. Now my now my trophy in jeopardy. Yeah, man. Like, no. I like it. That's what the league needs. Yeah, I like it. Like, they showing a little bit of grit. They showing yeah. a little bit of pride mm -hmm. in, in the matchups. I like yeah, it. This is just yeah. inherited. They're going to go down like same yeah. position, same yeah. stuff. Hey, it's like a KG. Yeah, they just Duncan gonna, type it's just, Yeah, it's going to be. This is, just this is fat. I like it. I like it. I like it. I, like, I, like, I, like it. I mean, it's a drill, but it's, it's a blowout game, but you still are watching just to see these yeah, two dudes. So I think the league's got to appreciate that. Obviously, Chet, much better team with the Thunder, SGA, and that host crew. Wimby kind of obviously in a, in a jankier position. But Wimby's averaging 20 points, 10 rebounds, 3 assists, 3 blocks this season. Shooting 46% from the field, 29 from 3. Chess averaging 17 and 7. 
2.8 assists, 2.6 blocks, but he's 54% from the field. Obviously, much better team, easier shots. 38% from three. So how would you grade Wimby and Chet halfway through their rookie and redshirt rookie season? I'm giving Wimby an A-plus so far because wow. he showed up against some of the top players that he's played against, except Embiid, I don't think he really showed up. He showed Shit. up. Shit, he had a great game. Had a great I'm game. just saying as far as what Embiid did to him. No, it don't matter. No. From, from my, sta from my, I, I, from my standpoint, my from my standpoint <laughs> like, point. compared to all the other ones he went up against, like Giannis was a thrilling game. Like, it was back and forth. He didn't step down or back down. And there wasn't no, like, big difference between the two. Like, I think MB when he sized him up before the game, he's like, yep, it's lunch meat tonight. I'm going for 70 on this motherfucker. I don't think anybody else has really sized Wimby up to give him that type, of, that type of matchup. I think he's actually handled every matchup accordingly, where he can show up and do his thing. I think Chet has been the opposite. I think he ain't really stepped up like he should have every game against every matchup. And I think I'm giving the edge to Wimby. Yeah, but, I mean, we got to keep it real. Chess shooting 54% from the field, close to 40% from three at that size. Different squad, obviously yeah, got squad a good matters. team. Squad you got matters. a guy like SJ out there, it makes it a lot easier for you to get buckets, but he's delivered. How many minutes is he averaging, too? Let me pull it up. They're around the same. So Chess playing, um, hold on, had it up, uh, 30 minutes per game. Wimby is, I think, somewhere right around that range as well. 28. Wimby's at 28.5 minutes per game, so 29 and 30 minutes. Solid. One team yeah, is playing Mubu, though, and the other one. Wait, you said Chet hasn't what? He hasn't fared against the other matchup, the other matchups with other centers like Wimby has. Wimby's been able to show Getting up. Getting 70 put on your head is that's different. Nothing. Like, that's nothing coming matter. from the guy who... He didn't get all that. That's yeah, what I'm saying. Zach Collins got, got most of that. Nigga, he, nigga, he was out yeah, there motherfucking got most of it. burping Zach Collins out there, bitch. Come here, baby. Yeah, Come here, you little baby, you. Come here, baby. That's 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 but at the end of the day, him. there's only one person that Wimby was going to face that was going right. to do that. Just him. And that's what I, that's why I'm saying. So, you know, that's that was a matchup that was going to be offset because that's a... That's the scoring guy. Everybody else that he was going to match up with, it was going to be pretty close. It was... You know, remember I said, I said, if I was a rookie, if I was a coach, I wouldn't play him against who? Yeah. Embiid, <laughs> fucking, uh, Greek, and Jokic yeah. for that first year. But, I mean, he played well he because played a great you, you're supposed to be the game. defensive player. And it was a close game. And I said, you're supposed to be the defensive player, and I got 30-something. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah, you're saying you wouldn't play him, but wouldn't, wouldn't it make more sense to play him so he can get his ass whipped, though, just understand yeah. what makes these yeah, guys But, so I mean, just for optics, I don't want him. I didn't, no. I, if it was early, in the, I don't want him to lose confidence yeah. knowing that what Embiid was going to do to him. Yeah, okay. But just you, like, you hear what just, Pop did before the game, though, right? He hyped him up. Yeah, well, he's like, oh, yeah, we're going to, uh, yeah, and then he's 70. But did you see, <laughs> but did you see <laughs> when he was like, don't tell when, don't don't, tell yeah. when Embiid I said okay. this? Make but, lose but, confidence. But what? Yeah, you know, you go I out mean, there and put that your shit. I mean, if that was a, put like that, if that was your first game against him beating, he put 70 on your first game, yeah, that would fuck your confidence up. I mean, well, why are you coming out here then? This is, hey. we, ain't, we ain't got time for that. Mm -hmm. Talk hey, about you know how many 19 year olds got they, you're they, the number one pick. Like, yeah, we, yeah, yeah. We, ain't, uh, we don't care about that. Oh, at 22, well. that's cool. Bro, at 19. Bro, you're the number one pick. We don't care about that. Like, mm -hmm. if you bro. wasn't ready for that, if you lose confidence now, yeah, go back over here. Yeah, go back over here. A whole lot of number one picks and draft picks. Cause that's what's happened sometimes. No, I'm just saying. But like Melo, but not Melo. But, but T Mac told Melo, "I'm giving you 50." Mm -hmm. What do you give him? Mm. Mm. What happens? As a rookie, that's what we're supposed to do. You don't know none of my tricks, goddammit. <laughs> <Really? laughs> you don't know none of these tricks. But I'm about to lose. give you all that, and then when when it's time for you to give me get back, hopefully I retire. I think it's wording though, <laughs> more so than lose confidence than wake up call. And give you a wake up call. You know, no, it's just your welcome to the league. Yeah. He got us yeah, welcome yeah. to the league. Wake no, up. we've been playing well, man. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's been, I just yeah, cause dude, have a hard time with that shit, man. My boy ain't no rookie, man. So I, I yeah. <laughs> he don't, he don't yeah, like we, know, we know where you I, stand. I, no, I like him as a player. No, yeah. I like his skill set. Not don't just get as me a wrong. rookie. Not as a rookie. Yeah, you not. lost your opportunity. He's not. He's not a rookie, man. Like I'm, I'm not moving off of that. That shit, like it shouldn't be up for debate. It shouldn't be a conversation. Right. Like, he should not be up for the award. Blake shouldn't have been up for the fucking award. That's yeah. just what it is, man. Real shit. Yeah, it's not, yeah, it's not, it's not our fault. You like, Ben Simmons, them, them, them shouldn't have been, like, whoever didn't finish, they, you, you shouldn't not. No, you didn't play. Didn't fucking play one minute, so you're not a rookie. You, you got drafted last year, motherfucker. Yeah, when did they start that? The, the Blake mm -hmm. shit was the first I've heard of. Yeah, me too. 
Now, Blake Shelton first sure I've heard before of before that. I mean, I'm pretty sure they started before that, but no one ever paid attention. Look, I didn't play in the summer league, so to avoid the shit. Mm -hmm. Right, and I'm coming off an of injury. injury. I didn't fucking play. Yeah, I don't yeah, think it's too many uh, number one picks, number two picks that got hurt that didn't play the first year. But just just a player that got hurt. I mean, just a player that got hurt and then came back the next year as a rookie. It, it, like you it, just missed your, you got hurt, you missed your year. That's, yeah. that's how that shit works. Yeah, you should. You don't get to come back. You shouldn't be I'm a rookie. rookie they, but I don't even think they counted as a year. If you don't play no games, if don't, you don't play no saying, games, it they don't. like so. Like if you let's say you've been in the league for ten years, but you missed a whole year, they have you down in insurance for nine years. You didn't play a game? So you don't get that 10th year, even though you were signed under contract, got paid for 10 years. They have you on insurance for nine, so you don't get that 10-year bonus. That's trash. Keep yeah. that bread. One that season, I only trash. played, I played two games one season. Did they count it as a season? Hell yeah, I, I played did. two games. Got that check. Played the first two games of the season, they had to get micro fracture surgery. Mm. <laughs> All right, well, let's talk a little bit mm. about the offensive side of the ball. Uh, yeah. Offensive explosion in the NBA in recent years. So the 2023-24 season is the fifth in which at least three players have scored 60 or more in a game, and three of those times have come in the past four seasons. There are currently 46 players averaging 20-plus points per game this season. 20 years ago, only 17 players finished the season averaging 20 or more. Ten years ago, there were 19 players. And this season, there are currently three teams, the Patriots, Bucks, and Thunder, in the top 15 in NBA history for points per game, and four in the top 25 if you include the Celtics. So it feels like we're in a golden era of bucket getting, and KD offers some insight into the offensive explosion in the league right now. I seen Cat have 40 at half. I mean, the skill level in this league is insane, and, and, and actually the coaching, the schemes on offense is insane. You're seeing so many different sets being run uh, for bigs to get threes. I mean, coaches are being way more creative to put their best players in, in, in great positions to get those numbers. And, you got shooters all around the floor. You got penetrators. I mean, this is the peak of basketball, in my opinion. You're seeing it with guys doing. I mean, come on, man. Our bigs. We got bigs in the league getting 70 and 60, making 9, 10 threes, shooting pull-up jump shot. I mean, it's insane what we got going on. Is he mad at that? No. Did you, no. Did you detect a little? I don't know. I'm trying to figure out which direction he was leaning towards. Is that absurd or is that a good thing? He said it's a good thing. It's a good thing? Mm -hmm. But do we, do we feel like he was serious? Was he trolling a little bit? I see. I mean, it's true. Okay. It's true. Are we seeing the peak of basketball right now? <coughs> so you think it's a good thing yeah, that the bigs are doing that shit? It's going to get better. But it's right at this point right now. Because if there's a peak, that means it's going. can't guard me. So is it still on the uptick? Yeah. Here we go with that. Maybe plateau. Maybe plateau is a better word. You think? I mean, because how many more positions could go become shooters? I think where it's going now. I think where it's going now is. There will be no more small point guards. Your point guard is going to have to be 6'5", six, 6'6". Six, six mm -hmm. Your shooting guard is Paul George and Kevin Durant. Yep. Small forward is Paul George, Kevin Durant, <laughs> and Wimby. Mm -hmm. Four man is Paul George, Kevin Durant, <laughs> Wimby, Chet. Your five man is Embiid, Jokic, Chet, Chet Wimby. Wimby. <laughs> this is just this is this is what this is the new. You go have your skill set, like big now, and big gonna have to like he's proven where you can be a certain weight and certain size, and still have the handle and all that. Now Wimby didn't prove where you can be thin and still okay. I can face the basket now and still I ain't gotta play with my back to the basket, but I'm still tall and better than you. Mm. So now you yeah. think they can? If you six three, you ain't got no chance of making it. No, no. no. What was the funny? You gotta be special. Now you can. You gotta be. Spe you gotta be John ja Morant specialist. special. Yeah. And yeah. you still Which is gonna be a rare, rare breed. Yeah, like a lot of niggas ain't making it no more. When they're looking at, when they're looking at, they they have oh, they being have a, small they have a stat of generational smaller. kids now, right? Mm -hmm. The NBA kids, yeah. mm -hmm. right? What are they looking like? That like they're yeah. that's a study that they're doing. I what is the NBA? <laughs> our previous NBA players, what do their kids look like, right? Because they're looking at the wingspans, mm -hmm. right? Some of these guys, like uh, they said, uh, Amadi Bates, they said he wasn't athletic, and his wingspan wasn't long enough for his size. That was a knock against him, right? They, and then they try to use a volume shooter, which is sound. It sounds stupid. Everyone's a volume shooter until you teach them how to put the ball in the right, basket. Right, so right. that you can teach that, right? I want the guy who just can, who who knows how to put it up. Mm -hmm. I can teach him how to be how efficient. To be efficient. Yep. So you know, somebody saying that's a, you're a volume shooter sounds stupid. Mm -hmm. But they're really looking at arm measurements as a thing now. So now they want longer players, players who can play multiple positions, like your Luca at the one, 
right? And like your Tatum, at th that's what they're actually looking for. So guards, the, the guards that are, you know, small point guards that shit, that sit near playing the right way. Yeah, the right way is you, overseas, overseas now. Overseas now. Overseas now. Overseas now. over that water. Oh, now. so that makes, you know what makes sense now? Oh, Genetically, you have to match up with the matchup. You, oh, got, yeah. the, you got to pick. Pick the, pick the correct work. Pick the correct work. Yeah, you've been doing this in other yeah, countries. Yeah, you got the, the hey, genetically, right baby, oh. we not matching. It's we called, don't match. It's I called need a, breeding. Yeah, yeah, you got to breed right now. <laughs> it's called oh, breeding. You definitely got to breed right now. You got to breed the right one if you want the right one. They've been doing this in other countries. I'm not messing up this time. I'm not messing up this time. I see it right now. My five-year-old. I still got about three more years. Hey! You know when to take him to the doctor and they got the percentile on what his height and weight go be? Yes. Next to my five-year-old, he got 99% and his shit got a greater than sign next to uh -huh. mm. mm. Should be like 105 right now, 105 percentile. Listen, nine with greater than, I'm like, I've never seen a greater than sign next to this <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> he gonna be ginormous. So what? guess what, we, I'm, he five right mm. now. What he doing walking around the house? Constant, ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Left, pop left, he, boom, yeah. 110 this way. <laughs> Ten, he got it five years old right now. We working on it. Yeah. You but see people, Wimby parents? Yeah. So can y'all proud enough? Wimby, I'm Wimby mother's what? Six three? You already know. Six three? His, uh, yeah, Wimby's mother is six three. Yeah. yeah. Six three, father was six six. So there you have it. And I'll be looking for him. Seven five. Huh? I yeah. just started my OnlyFans. I'm looking for a six three Joan on OnlyFans. <laughs> <laughs> Six three or better, five ten or better, baby. Tall glass of water. Yeah, for real. Huh? I mean, Sign but, but, that, but that, that's serious. Like, what? What? what, 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 oh what, what that, no, but hey, I'm saying, think yo, about it. Liz Cambridge. Yes. Mm. Absolutely. Yeah. Yo, mm. I'm just saying. Motherfuckers looking at shot like, come yo, on, we, mm -hmm. we got 500 million. So Between the million, we got 500 yo, million. It's a whole <laughs> lot of water. And, and, that, and I think to the point we ain't even got to do the deal. We can go put this shit in the dish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Relax. we can go Relax. put this shit in the dish, uh -huh. and we can come out with something amazing. Uh -huh. Go ahead and let the doctor do all that. Oh, yeah. well, well, oh, fix it up, doc. Hey, what time? Hey, meet me, me, me <laughs> at, what's at 2.30. I need you there at 2. Come that's on now. Get make that sure you're there. I'm leaning towards. Make sure she's athletic. Mm -hmm. I'm leaning I'm towards. Volleyball. We got, the, ball. Ball. We got yeah. that part covered. Get a gym in the house. It's a different world. Got that part covered with that medicine. What's your genetics look like? It's a different world. Which is weird that a lot of WNBA players and NBA players haven't been matching up. Yeah. I'm... Let me keep Which is weird, because them motherfuckers have been some super babies. Mm-mm-mm. Y'all look at that motherfucker jumping over the rim. Mm-mm-mm. We got to move this motherfucker 13 feet. <laughs> if I knew these what These babies I, coming hey. These motherfucker babies coming in. If I knew what I knew now, I have a yeah. couple of them motherfuckers. Yeah, I mean, it ain't too late, goddamn it. I can tell you that mm -hmm. right now. It ain't, it ain't never late to yeah, us. Yo, didn't you get proposition yeah, too late from me. WNBA players <laughs> trying to create a oh, too late. <laughs> I'm off the market. I want no more. Mm -hmm. Alexi. Obviously, I don't want no more. You young. I don't no, no want no more. <laughs> so, have no Thirty for your man. Do women generally gravitate towards taller men? Is that a, is oh, that yeah, a real thing? Oh yeah, sure. Okay. Because are you but looking I'm like, for the future? But I'm like, but you have like a, if you like five four, taller to you is like six feet. Yeah. yeah but that's... they want six eight. Who? The five Little four girls. girls. The five eight, four. The short ones. I'm, I'm they're trying to sure. they're trying to I'm, bring it back up. Fellas, like, fellas should be looking down like, yeah, I'm going. Yeah, you too, no, and I'ma pass. Not me. No, 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 no. no, no. They, they, they like no, no, girls. no. That's the no, problem. No, no, no. We pick you up. Pick just you up. Can't breathe I'll pick you up, little girl. Just can't, can't breathe with them. You can't breathe with them. Little itty bitty, little itty bitty. Come on, come on, come on here. Because yeah, I know. I know. They ain't thinking about the future. This mm. this next group of NBA kids might mm. have missed the. Yeah. This the next group of NBA. Oh my. This next group of NBA kids. Oh my God, they gonna be off the chain. They all gonna be light skinned. They're gonna be off the chain. I already told Mike, my, my son was like, yeah, you know. So what's the height? Six one and above, boy. <laughs> I said, y'all got y'all got I small mean, babies. Super, I am not the grandpa. I am models. not the grandpa. You are not happy in small babies. You are not the grandpa in small babies. I asked myself, what, 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 what kind of girlfriend you? How tall are you? Five nine. Five nine? Oh yeah. Five nine, five, five ten. Five ten? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's why these NBA daughters. Y'all better. Lock in. Yeah, they they, they dropping. Huh? Drop so they dropping. Fuck off. Completely. 5'11. 5'10. 5'11. Hey, hey, hey. Let, let's get back. Six. She got handle, too. Let's get, let's get back <laughs> to the got offense. handle on the jumper. <laughs> uh, is the defense <laughs> really that bad or is the offense just that good now? That that both. <laughs> defense is trash. Anyway. I think it's both. No, these dudes are really good offensively, man. It's hard. To really, think. really good. When you get in the playoffs, you see a little bit more defense. But no, it's, it's, little, more, it's more it's more the ref games. holding their their whistle. Like I listen, I've watched, I've watched past generations on defense, right? And 
the theory that we have, right, that you would think that, you know, the guys are up full court guarding the guy because he, he can't go nowhere. That wasn't the no. case. The, the, this, this guy can't shoot. I'm going to sit in the lane blocking everybody up. Now you got two or three players on the court that can't shoot. It is it becomes a more physical game because now you got to try to get in here while I'm sitting here. So now there's going to be a lot of driving, a lot of bumping, a lot of... That is what it was, right? So it's not like I'm actually playing defense. I just don't have to guard three or four people. We can we can sit in the lane, chuck everybody who's going to come in and stop you from moving. Yep. So it looked like there's defense. Now... Because you got Steph Curry that can shoot from the free throw, uh, the, the the half court, and Dame can stick for, he has to be guarded there now. So the guard himself has to pick up further versus back in the day. Like when I'm guarding Ben Simmons, where are we gonna guard him at? Foul line. Foul line. I'm just, <laughs> I'm not picking him up full court because I know he ain't gonna shoot. He's no threat. So I'm gonna sit back here, junk it up. Now uh, Dame Leonard, I gotta actually play him on defense. Like I don't want to guard dude all the way out there. I gotta turn him, turn him and turn him and turn him and turn him. That pick and roll is coming up <laughs> yeah, higher now the, too. Now look where the pick and rolls at. Now Kenya has to come up now. higher because the pick and roll is up there at half court because he's shooting Hard, that bitch way up there. Yeah, you gotta respect. respect him up there. Like like even when I when I played right in my event when people's like, yo, how did you get off? I said because when I was coming out the pick and roll. All guards are used to going under because the guards, okay. Gary Payton, them, they wasn't yeah, shooting sure. this. So I'm sitting there, oh shit, un under. <laughs> Can I shoot? Yeah, yeah all right. Wow. So I'm sitting there getting all these jumpers with no hesitation because no one was used to playing defense that way. Now when you go, un when you go, now you're coming over, there was no hard show really like that. Like, uh, all right, pull up. So now, now it's, what are we going to do? All right, just switch it. So we set this screen so high up. That's what Rose went. I'm going to set this screen so high up because you got to guard me now. Mm. When you get hit, I got so much room to run at this big. Now this, now this big going to have to be agile. There's not a lot of guys built like Kenyon to sit there and, all right, yeah, motherfucker. Yeah. There ain't no Dwight Howards out there. So now I get to come. Ooh, why do you think John Moran can do the same move every, every time? time? Same one. Cross <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go right. You gonna move? It's <laughs> and then dunk on you. You know and what I think? Though? No, I think there's two teams that really put the fear in the NBA for everyone to stop adjusting to playing traditional defense, what was that? which was the Phoenix Suns and the Golden State Warriors, and they both have Steve Kerr's blueprint on it because they stretched the floor. They had a point guard who can, you know, keep you honest with the big rolling, and everybody else is threat three point shooters. Mm -hmm. So now. When you look at how the game has been been played now, is everyone's scared to get off the shooters. When before, we forced them to throw to the shooters and made Joe Johnson a real shooter, mm -hmm. Q Rich, y'all got to shoot at a high clip mm -hmm. for us to respect y'all, but y'all won games based on the way we were playing against y'all. But y'all the only team in the league playing that way. Mm -hmm. So y'all has, you know, 50, 60 wins based on our, us playing Trying to differently. Mm -hmm to this one team. We all played the same against everyone else. Yep. Golden State introduces the same type of game. Now the, the league is afraid of leaving shooters, so now we're all spaced. We're giving layups now. Instead of going back and forcing these guys to try to prove, like, how good are you really? Like, we haven't seen how good guys really are because they're not playing defense the way we're used to seeing defense play. But, they're playing scary. No, but, like, like the, the problem is they're playing regular defense on teams like the Lakers. Right. Because right? So they don't guys, got no shooters. Yeah, because they ain't got no shooters. So yeah. regular defense, old school, <laughs> that shit still works against them because they, they have the 2005, six lineups, right, where you got two guys out there who can't shoot that are just there for defense. So we don't need to spread the floor. Yep. Right? So it, it goes back. So there are certain teams that still dinosaur, and you can see what it looks like, and it's hard for them to score yep. uh, versus everybody else. But everybody else now is, you're putting so much shooting out there, it's like, but you're seeing them live by and die by the three. Oh, yeah, yeah. Based on the fact that the defenses are allowing you to take easy twos and we're not giving up threes. Think about it. Fast breaks. They're not running for the fucking layup. We used to do three on two, right? <laughs> three on two, let coach make you do the layup. We, they are stopping for the three. That's an easy two, but we're taking the hard three, and it's like this is what the league has come by. So now we're... Is it a hard three gotta be anymore, though, with the amount of work that guys put it in? It depends on who's shooting it. You got to be able to shoot. Right? James Harden coming down, Devin Booker coming down with a three on two. They stop at the top. That's a bucket. Okay, but bro. they shooting no matter what now, though. Yeah, they that's don't the care. Hard part yeah, that's the hard part because they're not stopping. Like, our offense was like, we were the Phoenix Suns of the East, in a sense, right? Yep, yep. Because we had a bunch of scoring. 
You know we shot 14 threes? A game? Yeah. Wow. I shot half that. Yep. So I shot seven threes out of our 14. They're shooting 40. 43. <laughs> Crazy. Okay. Okay. 43. You know how much <laughs> you know how much my team would average if we got to shoot 43s and I get to shoot 20 of them? Crazy. Damn. <laughs> I'm shooting bad. half of the our threes. Now you put us to 40 and I'm shooting at least 15. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, I miss mean, bombs away. <laughs> Man. So, how many shots would you really be taking if you take the uh, I mean, I mean, but the wild shit, I mean, like 14. You're taking a lot I mean, of if shots. If you're taking 14 threes, that means you're taking 25, 30 shots. I mean, 25, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30 shots. I'm guaranteed 30 yeah, shots. 30 shots yeah. tonight. No, they shooting shit. 30 shots tonight. That. I'm watching the Denver game the other day. Nicola got a rebound. He outlet that bitch up to Michael Porter. He was down. It was like he was at damn near the timeline right in front of the three point line. The defense was running. It was like three guys that was back on D. <laughs> he threw that motherfucker out there. He caught that motherfucking shot. I didn't even think about it. I was like, God <laughs> damn. <laughs> but the wild shit is if you did that back in the day, you were getting... Oh, yeah. Get the fuck out. Out. What? You're not seeing the floor you're not, no more. You're getting cussed out oh, not seeing the floor again. It's, it's, in like they, it's, like, it's like their calculation seems like the faster we shoot it, the more possession we can put in, the more mm -hmm. possession we can put in, the more points we can possibly yeah, get up. Yes. Yeah. But still, right. some of them motherfuckers, you, still, yeah. you, you go and get like, Divincenzo. No, no, he be sitting there like, dang. I seen yeah, Divincenzo do that. <laughs> Yo, nobody get a chance to run back. Like, they just fired that motherfucker. And I was like, and did nobody. Normally, you have one person be like, oh, everybody, shit. everybody was like, okay, he missed it. And he missed the bitch, though. It was like, he made it. He missed the motherfucker. And I'm like, yeah, these motherfuckers. But I seen uh, Tibbs take Divincenzo out because he actually got the rebound, dribbled that bitch down, weaved through one side to the other side, and took a fucking fadeaway three. Damn. With no, three, I Brunson, I mean, Randall, I mean, and them yeah. niggas on the floor, that's, they all looking crazy. at him like, what is he doing? I, I get, the, 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 that's a bad thing. To be honest, so bad. honest, though, like, like as players, <laughs> as players, though, yeah. like. But we won't. <laughs> we do. If we get, if we, we take in a hundred, we scoring a hundred twenty. You know how many people getting paid on that motherfucker team? Right. We scoring a hundred twenty something. Mm -hmm. it's buckets getting. It's, Buckets. There's some buckets but out there. Everybody, everybody eats. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like everybody. Ain't nobody going home. Everybody, hey, look, everybody getting max deals. You average 2017 and you the fourth option, tw second option. Yeah, when yeah. we eventually see the market start correcting itself, though, where there come a point when that you putting up 17, 20, and it's just like, everybody's doing that now. We're not giving you the bread that we once did. That's not, not a nice these, guy these, listen, they have these, so much money. These agents right Dang. here, these agents right here is on a, they on a swivel together. Yeah. But they love this offense. They on a swivel. They, they really on a swivel. They got the, they got the market. They got oh, the yeah. market. They dude. love this agents? Hell yeah. Listen, average 15. Yep. Max. Got 15. Yeah. Oh, this, this guy got 137, 15. Max. Just, hey, just stay right here. Just stay right between 15 and 11, 15. Max. That's why I was looking for my shit. I'm like, hey, where's my re up? God damn that, it. I'm right at 15, nigga. Where? I'm waiting for about the boy. The only thing we got to go on this last thing, play, he averaged 15, so. Yeah. That's what a check. Yeah, this year don't fucking count. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do the count. Hey, no. Is, is, this a, is this a true story? This is what I heard. A Donald Foyle got paid 40, was it 42 million, and he was averaging three and three. Mm -hmm. And they said, uh, they said King Martin was like that. Well, King Martin was saying, Shit, you get you paying uh 42 million for three and three. Shit, give me 84, I'll give you six and six. <laughs> I was like, damn, that nigga cold. Yeah. Oh. He said, shit, I'll give you six and six, give me 84. 84. 84. But that was Absolutely. a Donald in, in uh Golden State, right? He got that money. Yeah, he had a three and three, he got 40 Sunday. I'll give you six and six. Give me six and six. Hot six three and six. Points. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that nigga said high six. Tyson, 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 no. Tyson got 60. Boom, oh, that like shit was eight and Five. It, was like ten, it was like 10 and something. This man was averaging three and three and got $40 million, bro. Yeah, he was like, Ryan Cardinal got 48. He was like, I'll double that. I, I get six and six. Marco Yaris got My 46. Yeah, that, I was like, man, that's six and shit. six. Six and six. I can give you that. He, How you yeah. doing, brother? <laughs> Troy Hudson got 35. He played one playoff series. It, it was players. How cognizant were you of all that stuff going on? Not to say you were pocket watching, but look at the comps. Like, oh, 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 they getting that's this. How you have to. Oh, exactly how you got it. I, mean. I got my list ready. I, bro, listen, I was counting my money already. You, you got to pick it. Yeah, you, I mean, you know, you got Trojan horses in 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 um in free agency, and you got to be realistic and really understand what the value is, because sometimes you can go into 
the, the, the market, like I was, when I was a free agent, uh, it was Lamar Odom one, I was two, right? Um, and I'm waiting for him to sign so I can be right under there. He's waiting for me to sign so he can be above me, right? <laughs> so, like, let's just say if I'm one and I sign, like, 49 million, that messed up Lamar Odom, mm. right? If he signs something low, it messed me up. So uh, what ended up happening is they signed Andre Miller to, I think, 50 yeah. or 49. I think it was 50. And I was like, oh, shit, I'm in front of him, so shit. I know I'm getting at least 55 now. So once he paid, I was like, I, I want the max. Lamar Odom heard that. I was like, well, he has to put the max? Oh, shit, I want, like, whatever max is over that. So when it was 55, and when I signed the 64, I know Lamar Odom was like, oh, hell yeah, because he probably went into the market with 58. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like we would, because I was going in the market at forty nine and fifty one is what I thought I was going to get. Brian Russell opted out of his deal; the salary cap went up. So when I got the sixty four, Lamar Odom was like, "Oh shit, hell yeah, I, I, I'm worth more than him." So Pat Riley and that motherfucker like, ah. mm. yeah. <laughs> "Shit!" That's the reason. One of the reasons that like I had to leave Jersey. Like the summer before, I was up for my deal. Um, they, the Nets offered me 66, six for 66. And the going rate for power fours at that time, they was getting at least 80. 80. Yep. Facts. Also, everybody, like, they was getting at least 80. And like I said, I thought I should have made the all-star team that year. They put Sharif on the team. Mm -hmm. So I'm, they offered me 66 and I, like, huh? <laughs> nah. Like, if it ain't 80, like, y'all, if they would offer me 80, that's something I would have took it. Mm -hmm. And I would have been the net and we probably would have a fucking championship. Yeah, I, I represent but, for the corner boys. Yeah, you know Nick Young and them. Mm -hmm. You know we was on the corner. You know I seen Francisco Garcia get twenty five for five. I'm like, ooh, way better than that, nigga. Ten points, four years. Yeah, yeah, I'm ready for the rehab. But the only two motherfuckers that was really making headways more than me was Nick and Lou and J.R. Smith. The only guys that was averaging more than more than that. So I'm like, oh yeah, whatever they get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's when I knew I was. It was some some shit in the water. Cause it's like it don't make no sense. So you don't get no, you got metrics to compare. Mm -hmm. And when you're a corner boy, you you know you got to be a role player. You coming it in, matter. it matters. It yeah. matters. Mm -hmm. Cause then it's like negotiating tactic for your for your agent, especially when you got players like like Kenyon or, or Gil that's already maxed out. Mm -hmm. Use that as leverage. Cause I already got guys that's you know mm -hmm. I need my corner boy. Mm -hmm. Get him on. And it's like oh some shit in the water when you can't can't get that. Right. So then it's different. So this for all the corner boys out there. Y'all got to get in where you fit in now because the shit, the shit is different. Yeah, got to make you got to be efficient. That's just, that's just that sometimes that like that mark. It it it, it really count. That first day, if someone make if someone signs and gets like they just get happy and sign something low. Oh, that trinkles down. It mm -hmm. could it could really mess the market up. Yeah, oh. yeah. They, really, they you want them. you want someone to get overpaid. Yeah, <laughs> that's why I was. Yeah. I knew they would have overpaid me in Detroit. Yeah. Shit, if I didn't tell my kid, at least yeah. two weeks away from All Star. That's what happened. Man, you. Then first they first gave uh, Reggie yeah. Jackson eighty. That's what they was gonna so, get you. He was gonna get the eighty. I was gonna get more than that. Yeah, you want Cause, damn. Because think about it. I was gonna be an All Star and was gonna make the playoffs that year. So they was gonna have to, if they gave Reggie eighty, they he was coming off the bench for OKC. Yeah, he was coming off the bench. So yeah, he came off Russ. the bench and got eighty. Yes, for five. I remember so that. If I don't get hurt, so that that fucked me up. Damn, bro. Two weeks away. So we asked the chat, are we seeing the peak of basketball? Detroit ain't been the same since. Ain't been the same. It's a karma. Is that karma? So we asked the chat, are we seeing the peak of basketball? Fifty-three percent said yes. Forty-seven said no. All right, let, let's shift gears uh, here on Lexi's Arena. So this Friday is the four-year anniversary of Kobe and Gigi's passing, along with seven others. Uh, we can all remember where we were when we found out the news, and the basketball world will never be the same without the Mamba and Mamba Sita. You guys all had the opportunity to play against Kobe during your times in the league. What are your, some of your favorite members of Kobe? Uh, I think for me, uh, man, I just remember being young, getting a chance to watch Kobe uh, work out at like 5 a.m. He invited some high school kids to come, and we were able to watch him work out at like 5 a.m. That was very uh, inspiring. And then when I tore my Achilles, he took a picture of my son, Legend, in the back, and we were talking about Achilles and, um, you know, just give me some tips on, um, you know, getting it healed and things like that. So, um, and then just being on the court, like just being on the court with Kobe Bryant. I mean, growing up in L.A., watching him win championships, um, you know, he was the first player on the court wearing them black tights. I remember us going, being in high school, going to wear black tights because Kobe had them on. But 
Yeah, it just sets a lot of trends, man. 20 years in a Laker uniform, I mean, you know, the greatest we've ever seen to me in a Laker uniform ever. And Brandon, you grew up out here. What, what did that legacy of Kobe mean, just 20 years with the Lakers? What do you feel like he meant to the city, meant to the community? I mean, a lot. I mean, seeing him at 18, things he went through in Utah, airborne, and coming back and overcoming all that, moving to the Staples Center, winning the rings. Um, it was like, man, it was, it was like he was from here because we've seen him grow up. So, um, yeah, man, we got 20 years of great basketball from Kobe Bryant. So I can say being a Laker, being from L.A., I really appreciate him. Rashad, obviously. Man, how you just transitioning over me? I want to go last, man. Let me go last, yeah. man. Nope. Uh, he right. told me how to, he told me how to, to be a perfectionist in, in, in uh, the craft of, you know, just work ethic. You know, when I came into the league, you know, we all think we have a, a, a high level work ethic because we in the gym and we training and all that stuff. And, you know, being at Golden State, I got no one, you know, everyone's just doing what they do. So, you know, when, um, and I got a chance to do that first appearance in the, 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 the Lakers uh, arena and he allowed me to stay. Right, because you know, at that time, you know, who's who's you know, what's the dude over there? And I'm like, oh, I play for the Golden State Warriors. And then you know, I had to look, and he's like, it's fine. So me just watching, just what it is to like be great in the steps it makes is is something that I could never, you know, let go. Like I seen what it looks like mm-hmm. up close, year after year. Like you know what I mean? Like game seven type shit, 500 shots. Like I seen what a mechanic looks like. So. You know, if I never got that opportunity, I don't know what my career would have been. So Cope saw you said, nah, Gil can stay. Didn't, didn't even know you at that point? Or do you think he, he might- probably knew me, but you know, like he could have easily said, no, nah, no, nah, I don't need you. Get the fuck out of here. And he's like, nah, man, whatever. Do you this think is- there was some respect though that even you showing up that early even to try to, to see and learn? Probably that's what I said. I never I never asked, you know, why'd you let me stay that, you know, that 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 first time, but I'm glad he did because I really got to see what a work ethic was. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you know, it's like somebody like <clears throat> getting a chance to watch like a Mayweather or a Tom, like behind the scenes, just what you're doing. And, you know, I didn't play for the Lakers and all that stuff, but I got exactly what I needed to progress in my career. So when people ask like, yo, how did you, you know, go from here to here? I, I watched what, it, what a work ethic looks like. So, Lexi, what are some of your favorite Kobe memories? Well, I've never got the pleasure of being able to meet him. Unfortunately, my dad did, though. They did a camp together, I think, in China it might have been. And, like, just how excited my dad was when he got back to be able to spend that time with him, like, was really cool to me. Um, And I just always knew about his work ethic. I wore Kobe's when I was in high school. Like, he was definitely one of my favorite players. And um, one of the most amazing things to see was his support for the W. Like, we had never had an NBA player, former or or current, show that much love and respect for our league before. Um, And that was, like, really special to us. And I was really looking forward to being able to meet Kobe and Gigi, you know, while I was playing in the W, hopefully as an L.A. Spark, as an all-star, all those things. But unfortunately not able to have that opportunity. But, I mean, what he he means to the basketball community is, is... amazing and you know I, I do wish I was able to pick his brain at least for like a few minutes so yeah. Can you and Kobe have some, some battles during your time but obviously a tremendous amount of respect for him just what are some of your favorite memories <clears throat> of going up against Kobe and just what did you see on the court when you're playing against him? No mine mine predates the NBA um at ABCD camp <clears throat> like this is I didn't know none could, Project kid coming from Dallas, Texas, man. I was new to the this whole thing of this AU world of basketball and all these camps. Like, I had never been to nothing like that. And I didn't know, I didn't understand the hype. And people was following this kid around. Mm-hmm. Like really following him around, like catering to him. And I'm like, who the fuck is that? Mm-hmm. And they told me, that's Kobe Bryant. And I'm like, who the hell is Kobe Bryant? Mm-hmm. And they thought, oh, he's the number one player in y'all class. Like I said, I'm naive, and I'm thinking, because they had us going in fucking classes, mm-hmm. and I'm thinking, like, oh, he the number one player in the class. Okay, cool. 
So he's studious. Like I'm, that's my thought process at the time. I'm, I'm not. I'm really naive. Mm -hmm. Then we got on the court, and I was like, "Oh, they, oh he going straight to the league. He this, he that." I was like, "Oh, okay, I see it." But he was walking around with a big ass radio, like, and he was the people was catering to him, and it turned out that they was right. <laughs> like it was, it was that man. But no, nah, it, it was it was that memory, man. But just the battles we had throughout, man. Um, like I said, I didn't play his position, but I was tasked to guard <laughs> and battle and certain certain things said back and forth. But it's all in competition. Um, never out of disrespect, never out of any kind of hatred. But as you know, I put him on my old dog team, man. So y'all know the way I feel about him. So. And when you look back, you're going at him. Did, how long did it take for you to have that respect? Was it from ABC to Camp On? Or was there a point in the league when you were playing against each other? No, he just didn't, he never backed down. Like that skill set, you don't, most guys that's that good, they not confrontational. Mm -hmm. Like they not looking for action. Like they just, and I looked at, when I saw that, I saw Mike in that regard, mm -hmm. right? Just no backing down from shit from no one at no particular time. And he was a kid, and this was a thing for him, right? And just never, never, didn't take no shit from nobody, man. And that, that, that said a lot for the skill set that he had, and he knew what, like we had a like conversation one day, he like, you know what I do out here? And I said, you know what I do out here? Mm -hmm. And we both like laughed it off, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, it's, it's that, right? Like, I'm not going to. Never, me and him would have never had to come to that, because it's basketball. It's a chess match. It's, so it was a level of respect. So okay, it was dope. Which I mean, coming from you, obviously. Oh yeah, no, nah, no. Nah, it, it was. If you felt any weakness on the dude, I was you call, but just to see that level of respect, camaraderie, and actually, you, both y'all being able to break character. Yeah, in those yeah, moments. Yeah, yeah. But Rashad, we'll move over to you. Just what, you know, what's your favorite Kobe memories, and what did he mean to you? I mean, I got introduced to Kobe in 2001 by. Uh, Boston Celtics scout Mike Procopio he used to send me footage when I was in high school. Guys to study. He thought I had a great talent, and Kobe was the one guy. He's just like study, study this, study his footwork. It was uh, Lakers versus Sacramento, Lakers versus Spurs from 2001 to 2003. Just look at this, watch it, and he sent me some Paul Pierce stuff and some other people. But Kobe was number one, and I remember just being in the league before. It was like first year he wore 24. <clears throat> and um, before I got to have any conversations with him off the floor and get to know him, I insulted him immediately. Uh, it was like point eight on the clock, three quarter court, and uh, I'm like, he like he's literally like telling him like, give me the ball, I'm about to make this shot. And I'm like, man, only Michael Jordan make this type of motherfucker shot. And the look he gave me, <laughs> Michael, don't you ever say that name around me? and proceeded to hit the fucking shot with .8 on the clock. And that's, you know, walking back to the, to the bench, that's when I'm like, everything that I studied up until this point, everything that I seen up until this point, the 81 points, the mentality, and the audacity to be challenged and compared to something that he was trying to go and, and, and reach, it was like, what? Don't say that name around me. I'm chasing that. And that just brought me to a whole nother realization of what kind of air you have to have, what kind of confidence you have to have, even if it's confused as arrogance. Don't, don't, don't test me, don't try me. I can do it and on, on any level, under any, under any circumstances. And that's what he became, like that hero type of guy, like, oh yeah, that's, that's Superman, that's a different dude. And it, and, it, and it helped me this morning to grow with this the epiphany to not be a LeBron James hater anymore. So I want to be able to not diminish what LeBron is accomplishing and seeing how far Kobe came with the haters that he had and to be able to be such a fan of his, and such a student of his and him being a mentor to me and seeing how LeBron has the same thing and the same effect with this younger generation. So I can't take anything away from LeBron no longer. And it, and it may seem like it's hating from a malice or personal level, but it's not. It's a competitive thing for me. He's always been my deepest, darkest competitor. And, um, and I refuse to continue to make it seem like I'm diminishing his accomplishments because a guy like Kobe, we never thought would be gone. And I don't want to 
you know, not give LeBron credit for all the accomplishments he's 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 accomplished thus far. So just take the moment to to, to say that because there's a lot of haters out there that you know hate on me as well. Yeah. So I don't want to diminish that, and I, I do want a clutch check, and I and, and you know what I'm saying I do <laughs> I do want to go to parties, and I, I do you know I, I I want the cat. I can't get the cat if I ain't got LeBron in the hat, right? So let's put LeBron in the hat and bring the cat, okay? But I mean, even, even that was almost a beautiful moment. Um, you know, <laughs> almost a beautiful <laughs> Lexi's arena. But even LeBron coming to Lakers, I think, and continuing that legacy. And LeBron's smart, he's strategic, knowing what comes with, what come with that. This is Kobe City. You come to this team. You know, initially it was rocky at first, but I think he honored Kobe's legacy and helped bring some championship ways back. We'll see if they can continue to go on that route. But you know, I think all across the board, just hearing y'all talk about it, because obviously never played in the league. But just as a fan of the game, like, I wasn't a Kobe fan. I wasn't a Laker fan growing up, but always had a tremendous amount of respect. But Kobe, LeBron fans, obviously years of battling each other, going at each other. Shit got very nasty. As you know, mm -hmm. social media can be very, a very, very dark place. But just the amount of respect. I remember watching that Dream Team or Redeem Team doc and just seeing both those dudes and the amount of respect that they have for each other and love they have for each other. And it really forced you to take a step back and just really, you know, appreciate all the stuff you're saying. So it's great to hear you say that. But, you know, we honor Kobe's legacy still. And it's wild that it's been four years now. It feels like it's been such a huge void during that time. Like, life keeps going, but you never stop forgetting about just the impact and contributions he made on and off the court. Second chapter, winning an Oscar and all the amazing stuff he was doing. Yeah. Yeah. On the other side, kind of just being a great role model for guys like yourself is now you figure out what you're going to do once your basketball career is over and just how you keep expanding your life and giving your life purpose. Lexi, like you mentioned, all the stuff on the women's basketball side, pulling up the WNBA games, rocking the orange WNBA hoodie, being such a, a visible member. And obviously with Gigi helping to follow that legacy, that squad. You know, remember the story about them getting their ass kicked one year, mm -hmm. then beating the team by 100 the next year, and mm -hmm. them all posing in the photo. But just seeing that Mamba mentality and how it was, it was in her and ingrained in her as well. So, you know, really appreciate all y'all just kind of sharing those memories and moments. And, you know, just want to send a ton of love to Vanessa and the rest of the family as we now honor Kobe, the fourth anniversary of his passing. So we got one more thing to get to on the show. Rashad, it involves you. So yesterday we talked about Sports Illustrated and showed some of the magazine covers that the couch had had back in the day. When we showed your cover, uh, we had a <laughs> issue with the Wi-Fi. <laughs> Uh, wasn't necessarily the highest resolution version of the cover, so we wanted to give you a little love today. We got the upgraded uh, Sports Illustrated cover today. Yeah. There we go, high quality. That, that is him. <laughs> that is that is you. That's not him. <laughs> That's not him. That is him. Yeah, man, I used to be pretty good back then, man. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, gonna, I ain't gonna hold y'all, but you know, it was back in the day. We had to make up for the sins of our Wi-Fi yeah. and, and give you this updated cover. I appreciate cover. it. I appreciate it. That's crazy. So, I appreciate so it. what was it like for you being in college, uh, UNC, obviously Tobacco Road, a lot of work, up and down Tobacco Road, uh, <laughs> getting that SI cover. But, you know, I, I go back and, you know, I'm, I'm a little bit older than you, but just, like, if I had an SI cover, life would, be, life would be a little different. But what was it like for you to be getting that SI cover? It was different, man. Uh, I was coming off of 20 a game the year before, making the decision to stay in school because I wanted to be a top three, top five pick, not at the top ten. And um, it forced me to come back and play another year. And... Uh, I had just actually got cut from the USA 19 under team. Um, Calvin Sampson was the coach, and they chose team over talent. This is the year 2003-04 uh, when Kobe and them lost to the Pistons, and they had that, that power team, and they wanted players more like the Detroit Pistons than guys on the Lakers, and I was playing like Kobe at the time because that was who I was training like. So um, I ended up getting this call that they wanted me on the cover, and it just blew me away. I think that was the most shining moment that I could have ever received just as an individual because I didn't expect it. And then when it hit, it just let me know that I was solidified, certified. And I was the first Carolina player to ever grace the cover by himself. And uh, they did a whole spread. It was a proud moment for me and my family still to this day. You know, years, years, and years went by and I was able to still Honor and cherish that. So I appreciate Sports Illustrated. Sorry they gotta go, but. Do you have a copy? 
Oh, yeah, I got a couple copies. Bro. Okay. Mom and Pops got some copies. <laughs> yeah. say, you better get on the internet and get this motherfucker. Yeah, you too. You, you got yours? <laughs> of course, yeah, this motherfucker got close from two Sprite hours. Sprite machine. Sprite <laughs> machine. <laughs> Kenyon is a neat hoarder. Yeah, he's a neat hoarder. <laughs> like when you see hoarders, he's a neat one. He got him in boxes, like just in case 2000 come back and go, oh, I got this shit ripped. Yeah. <laughs> Where all my jerseys at? Where all my 7X at? Yeah, I got one in, in large. I got. Poster size of the big jump. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And your sister Rashonda also got the cover as well. We wanted to show that high resolution. I appreciate that. Show too. some love. Yeah, 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 yeah. My twin. Rashad and Rashonda. We did it. You know what I'm saying? We uh key to the city. We got a lot of shit. First brother, sister, McDonald's All Americans. Oh man, players of the year. We did a lot, man. Um we uh yeah. we, <laughs> we got jump man's. Yeah. Yeah, then jump yeah, man, jump man. man. Fucking Tyler Hands, bro. He squared up to shoot a jump we in there. And I was like, hell no, he made that motherfucker. He said, hell yes, Kenyon. <laughs> hell yes, Kenyon. <laughs> Yo. Hell yes, Kenyon. I was like, yes. hell no. Mm -mm. Hell yes, Kenyon. <laughs> 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 but on that note, <laughs> let's yeah. move on to mostly yeah. fans. Yeah. Our final segment. About to go give me a J-O-B. In the history of Lexi's Arena, <laughs> momentous week here in Lexi's Arena presented by Underdog Fantasy. If you have not done so already, download the Underdog app. Use promo code Lexi, L-E-X-I-E, and that will give you a $50 or up to $100 deposit match on your first time deposit. So we got a video question today uh, from a, a L.A. legend. We'll just we'll let y'all figure it out. What up, Gil? This your boy Clipper Dill in the building, baby. I know y'all not recognizing me, man. You know, I'm growing my beard out, man, for, uh, you know, we winning, man. You know how we do it. Now, I was doing it in honor of uh, James Hart, man, but having a beard ain't no joke, man. I'm going to be cutting it soon, man. Hey, I commend James for wearing this. But quick question, man. I love your show, Gil's Arenas, man. <laughs> You know, I love all I love all your co-hosts on it, man. And you know what I'm saying, my man, man. You know, all all, all my guys are on there, man. Rashad McCanns, Brandon Jennings. Hey, Brandon, we need to, you need to get that flag football games back going on in the summers, man. Come on now, you know, Kenyon Martin, man. That's my guy, man. I love him, man. His, his, his son out there playing in the NBA now, man. Love these guys, man. But I gotta ask you about Rashad McCants, man. Can you please ask him? I just want to know, man. Why does he wear that crown? So that's all I want to know. Why does he wear that crown? Much love to you, Richard. I need to know, baby. Richard. So uh, Clipper Darrow did not adhere to our thirty to forty second uh, range on the video. Also referred to it as Gills Arenas. <laughs> mm hmm. <laughs> he didn't even acknowledge me at all, so... Did not acknowledge Lexi's arena, so that was strike two, and <laughs> referred to you as Richard. <laughs> but this, you know, so... As those we'll things tend to happen, then you were telling the story uh, <laughs> yesterday about Aaron the follow where he had the, the shirt on. Y'all started calling him by the new name. Uh, of, for, so we might have to start calling you Richard in honor of Clipper Richard. Richard. But It'd be any better than McCann's, y'all. Yeah, yeah, we'd be here McCann's. I don't know I don't know why that shit just sound better, though. McCann's. McCann's. Aaron McCann's. I don't know why. I just. <laughs> yeah. My mama and them be looking at me. Why the fuck they keep calling you that? <laughs> <laughs> why do you wear the, the crown? Why do I wear the crown? It's many, many le levels and layers of it. Um, but I'll just start with the fact that we all kings. You gotta fight. You gotta find it within. And I, I'm not scared to show the world what I really am. I'm the king of everything. Until you can tell me I'm not or prove to me that I'm not, you can't take it off my head. My mama gave it to me. I was born with it. I'm a sovereign man. I do what I want when I want. I put people on. I share to the world. I got knowledge and wisdom. I've been through a lot, so I deserve it. That's why I wear it. So I'm on this couch because I had to fight for this spot. And that's why I wear that crown, because I deserve it. So anybody else want to know, I don't wear it as much anymore because it triggers a lot of you motherfuckers. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I got motherfuckers all over here trying to fight for this crown. I want to beat his ass. Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> Beat his ass. One on one with you, yeah. No. All right, man, look. You gonna force me to 1712 you? Yeah. <laughs> Ten one you, 1712 you, whoever else wants some more two guys, whatever. Ones, twos, threes, fours, 
Everybody can get it. I believe he was looking in your direction. Everybody can get it. And that's that on that. Don't ask him about the crown no more. Mm -hmm. Period. That's that on that. So, Rashad, many many products uh, in honor of Clipper (laughs) Daryl calling you Rashad. Producers pitch that you come out with Rashad and A. Rashad and A. Rashad and A. Damn, with the with the with the. That's, for work that's nice, yeah, for, for the work. Cause for I do, the work. Yeah, workshop coming soon. Only on OnlyFans. You got to sign up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm the new Uncle Luke. You know what I'm Wait, saying? You I'm the only single motherfucker on this thing. Are you really going to yeah. OnlyFans? Absolutely. Oh, I know that's going on. Oh. It ain't going on YouTube, the type of shit I'm talking about. What? Sign I got to be there. <laughs> I got to be there. <laughs> I got to be there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You going to go, yeah. Uncle, new Uncle Luke, you know baby. How that goes. Yeah. I'm not letting you know nothing. Y'all give you the summary. <laughs> So we got one more. Uh, Give you the cliff notes. Yeah. <laughs> Edited cliff notes. Yeah, you're going to subscribe to uh, Rashad's OnlyFans? No, it's not, Rash- it's not Rashad's. It's, it's the, the work it's, workshop. It's called the workshop. There you go. See how you did that? That's how it go. It's, it's, not the, work, it's the workshop. It's the work. I'm there for the work. Can you subscribe to the workshop <laughs> on OnlyFans? Not allowed. I, but from the look, I'm getting mm-hmm. from you. I'm I must stay away. Happily married man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ain't no reason. But you gonna learn something. Work you learn calendar. something, I'll teach you something. Workshop calendar. Uh, man, that motherfucker like, yeah, sure. What's her IG again? Yeah. <laughs> she said $7, okay. <laughs> y'all are, y'all are <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is Lexi's thing Arena. one and thing two. This is, this is the final day of Lexi's friend. Arena. Let's keep Just it. Just answer the question. Keep it class. Oh, oh, All right, so we got one another, more video question. from black man got a head coaching job in the NFL. Who got it? Raheem Morris got the oh, Atlanta job. He I mean, back? He didn't put a resume for it. Co- they, they hiring coaches too. Yeah. <laughs> NFL. <laughs> I got no NFL experience. Honorary PhD majoring in buckets. <laughs> uh, so we got another underdog. Uh, we got another uh, video question. This one's from underdog user Demonte Hobbs, 23. What's up, everybody? Uh, love the show. My question for y'all today is, who do y'all think is the most skilled shooting guard, small forward teammates we've seen no accolades included. We got D Wade and Brian. We got Jordan and Pippen. We got Kawhi and PG 13. We got KD and D Book. We got Vince Carter and T Mac. Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown. And we got Ray Allen and Paul Purse. Let me know what y'all think. Purse. Purse. He, he named everybody. Right. What, what, what is but he the, wants to know the answer to pick? The best to do. No accolades. Who is the most skilled shooting guard, small forward, teammate <laughs> combo of all time? He gave you the no accolades. Skilled, uh, probably yeah. Tracy and Vince. Maybe I'll pick Tracy and Vince. Me too. Mm. Tracy and Vince. For sure. Brandon, how about yourself? Dwayne Wade, LeBron. Fair. Can I argue with that? I, don't know, I might be rocking with D. Book and KD. Mm. But then there's I like Paul and Ray. Grant Hill, Tracy McGrady. And Orlando. Mm. Which foot did he have? Both of them. <laughs> uh, the Why one with the screws are out the screws before. <laughs> Everybody is healthy in these debates, girl. Okay, all right. Everybody is their best selves. I mean, shit, then Grant Hill, Grant Hill, was it Grant Hill? So you can go Clay. AI Mash, bro. Nah, AI, AI Mello. They said, they said like, two, are we talking twos and threes. Twos and threes. Yeah, yeah. That, that Grant was, Hill and uh, Stackhouse? Well, shit, Clay and, Clay and KD. Them two young motherfuckers. You might not get wow. it back. Oh, there was a problem, right? Jim Jackson, Jamal Mashburn. Ooh. I'm going with that one. Yeah, they, gave, they gave the Bulls 50 a piece back then. Absolutely. Yeah. Damn. Back-to-back game. Yeah. Gave Pip and Mike 50. It was Damn. a better time. <laughs> yes. Jamal Mashburn, Jim Jackson. Hey, Scotty My and pick. Michael. My pick. Uh, Scotty and Michael. Clay and KD. Hey, Scotty and Michael, though. That's tough. A lot of dynamic duos. Yeah. So this is the final day of Lexus Arena, as we mentioned. Uh, very, oh. very productive. <laughs> Four days, uh, took the show to new heights. We really did. It's Lost your whistle, week. got your bullhorn though. Even though you ain't win shit, <clears throat> you still got rewarded with Best shooter on the couch, uh, yeah, undisputed. I, won that. I need a rematch. That's what so we shooting. So we honored the no. queen of the arena, best shooter on the couch. I didn't have to use this today. Yeah, didn't, did not. But I'm keeping it. Get OD, yes, courtesy of Underdog Fantasy. Yeah. Woo woo. I'm gonna still have it over there. I, don't I need that for my coaching job. <laughs> Instead of I a then I said, get your ass off the court. He <laughs> <laughs> don't want to come out of the game. <laughs> then <Yeah>. I say. <laughs> I would pay a pretty penny to watch you coach a game mic'd up. Just one NBA game. <laughs> summer league game. NBA, let, let Gil coach the summer league so game. Please let him coach summer league. And we got the third to sale. We got the third to sale, too. 
Go oh, get the yeah. Agent 12, surf for sale. Agent they let 12. Richard Jefferson officiate. Yeah. Let Gil coach a game. See how that long until he gets ejected. Ever, too. But Lexi, what's your favorite moment from Lexi Arena? Five players playing all 48 minutes. <laughs> um, Lexi, favorite moment? Out. <laughs> favorite moment from Lexi's Arena. What are your parting thoughts uh, as we celebrate this last day of Lexi's Arena presented by Underdog Fantasy Woof Woof? Well, I will say my favorite part is everybody coming today. Harmoniously. First time yeah, the whole crew's like, been on the couch. I know, like, I know I didn't win the shootout. Like, that was the deal. But the fact that y'all came through and actually gave me this, like, that's so fire to me. And, like... People, like, because I remember when I was first got on the show, like, the people in the chat and, like, people was kind of like, we well, don't really like Lexi that much, yeah. da, da, da. And now, you know, the tides have, they're turning a little bit. Well, like, welcome uh, to the party, because mm -hmm. guess what yeah. they were saying about me? No, I, no. So, <laughs> well, I, don't, I don't know why the chat was tripping. They was so all they tripping for in the first place. It didn't bother me, but it's like now seeing that people are like, oh, we kind of like Lexi now. She's, mm -hmm. yeah, Shit, she's you cool. had already wrote me uh, completely <laughs> off. He had said, yeah, let's get rid of this nigga. Like, me? <laughs> Get rid of that nigga. He's fucking yeah, shit up. Sure, she in the but league. then he cleared my name and he said he didn't do it. Well, no, I think it's it funny wasn't that him. It was his fault. That I'm valid because I won the the little <laughs> competition on the couch. Not, not okay. because I'm an actual professional, but. Now, we, now we finally actually got a professional female on here. Hey. Oh. About time. But, ladies and gentlemen, we are not here to. Uh, <laughs> No shots, yeah. no security. But no, I security! I yeah. love this. Would have been this is great. Shout out to our whole staff. Uh, <laughs> completely changing the set, Fuck. the graphics team. But like, as you know, chat full of haters. Fine people, though. We see them in real life. Uh, great people. There's just a few outliers. Mm -hmm. See what happens when you're a good person? You get that. You get that? Yeah. When you're a good person? When you're a good person. When you're a good woman. Oh, when you don't need security. Yeah. It's so cute. And the pink, I love it. You, so you're thanks, a good guys. woman. You see what happens when you're a good woman, a wholesome yeah. woman. Mm. It comes with substance. Mm. All, all of us see, are so let's don't, hey, don't me, use hey, me, me to throw shots now, okay? Hey, no shots, no yeah. shots. All, all of us have scrolled no, the chat. I mean, you already joined. You over here like, look how cute it looks. It is cute. <laughs> it's gonna be up there again with these all these shootouts we doing. Come on, next, March. Yeah, we should do it. Yeah, we should do it once a week for her. Let's think you gonna win in March. Women in our man. Much better, much better boss Lexi did not slander me at all this entire week. I uh, cannot say the same thing about Gil Arenas. I'm a train this time. I know it's all love, though. I will say, Gil, it is not easy being time. in this seat every day. So you say you're going to train next time? You. I'm train this time. I'm for it's sure hard. training. I'm training. I also don't training. like the camera angle this way. I like being on the side better, so. Like there's not a camera right there in front. <laughs> no, but like I'm used to be over there. What I'm saying, three is facing you. But when we're at all of us, I'm on the side. I like that. Oh. And like when it's all of us, it's always on If it's all of us, we need a bigger couch. Mm -hmm. So. But yeah, while thanks, we're here, guys. appreciate you to everybody who rolls with us every <laughs> single day. Okay. Everybody in the chat, everybody who comments, everybody who watches, shares it across social media, everybody who likes and subscribes to the Gills Arena YouTube channel. Last day, Cannon, back in action. And Good to see proof of life. He will not be back anytime soon. I know okay. y'all saw him. So this was our last uh, Lexi's Arena of the week. We will return to Age of Twelve's uh, show, known as Gills Arena. <laughs> Gills Arenas. Uh, now Gills Arenas. Bro, he got his little thing out. Bro, we relax over there. <laughs> Bro, oh, see, that's oh, why he over oh, there. Oh, yo, yo, hey, yo. <laughs> and on that yo. note, we will hey, see y'all on Monday. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Give me that ass. Give me that.